Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check, stations. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is on the air. Oh! Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. High V, score big savings with the new High V Perks membership. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Alliant Energy, powering a clean energy future. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Iowa basketball returns to Carver Hawkeye Arena this afternoon on the heels of a solid road victory at Minnesota Monday. The Hawkeyes have won three Big Ten games in a row to climb back to 500 in conference play and 11 and 6 overall. It's been all hands on deck from the four freshmen to sophomores Josh Dixon to Sade Bowen and of course the veterans a needed ingredient to weather a grueling season of meetings and matchups that still remain starting today with the number two ranked Purdue Boilermakers. These two opened the Big Ten season way back on December 4th at Mackey Arena. The Hawks got down big from the game's onset and never really challenged losing 87 to 68. Now it's a different more confident Iowa team though this time around it has to be with the two lost Boilermakers featuring the Bravira the multi-talented player of the year in college basketball center Zach Eady who averaged 31 points and 17 rebounds in his last two games both victories over Penn State and Indiana Purdue has won nine of its last 12 the Hawkeyes have notched six wins in their last seven outings that only loss uh, at Wisconsin Fran McCaffrey posted a school record 200 
172nd win at Minnesota on Monday, surpassing Tom Davis as Iowa's all-time winningest coach. Number 273 today would look mighty good on his and the Hawkeyes' resume. Good afternoon again, everybody. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Gary Dolphin joined, as always, by former Iowa star and NBA champion Bobby Hansen. Bobby, uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but Selection Sunday is just shy of 60 days out. There's 15 games remaining that we know of, with none carrying more cred than a victory over number two Purdue should it happen today. Oh, absolutely, Gary. There's a lot in that opening there that you uh, threw at the fans right there. But let's start with this is a great opportunity for the Hawkeyes here when you play the number two team. And you're coming off a, a big victory on the road. The Hawkeyes winners of six of their last seven uh, uh, games here. So, uh, yeah, I like how they're playing. This is a different team than than we saw Purdue uh, back in, in early December. So I like Owen Freeman in the starting lineup alongside Ben Cricky and Peyton Sanford has been shooting at lights out. Contribution now from Josh Dix. He's a much better player. So I like our chances today. I, I feel good about it. And they're going to have an outstanding crowd here to, to uh, enjoy the afternoon. From the most veteran Hawkeye to the newbies, Bobby, all are contributing. Uh, I, I was looking at the numbers last night. Ten players average at least ten minutes of game time. Forward Ben Cricky leads four double-figure scorers. Freshman sensation Owen Freeman has a team leading 30 block shots uh, and 19 steals. Tony Perkins, 72 assists, leads the team with 29 steals. And Peyton Sanford is hauling in seven rebounds on average. Everybody's at the dinner table. Yeah, that's what it takes, too, Gary. you got to have all hands on deck. Everybody brings something to the party here, brings something to the game. That's a positive addition to it. And, uh, and Fran gives these guys supreme confidence. You're coming in, he ain't going to yank you out. You take a bad shot, miss a shot. So, uh, And they don't turn it over. This is not a turnover basketball team. That's when you lose games, when you when you can't score and, you, and you're turning it over. So it's uh, going to be fun here today. I think one of the big keys today, you got to be able to run. Get your fast break great game going get, get up and down make this big guy Zach Eady run the floor nobody's had the answer to stopping seven foot three Zach Eady he drained nine of ten field goal attempts on the Hawkeyes back in December uh, 25 points and 12 rebounds that night I mean you have to front him you have to back him on the catch uh, you got to be all over him I, I don't think Fran sends any less than two defenders at him uh, every time he catches the ball today yeah talking to other coaches around the league and how they have guarded him and you know you get a different perspective from each of them I don't think you can play him one-on-one -on -one. he's probably gonna gonna get you pretty good there so you got a double team I don't think you can play in front of him either Gary the Hawks played in front of him a lot down at West Lafayette so you got to probably stay behind you get in front of him he's gonna be right at the basket for an offensive rebound put back dunk so stay behind be physical with him force him off his block get him out of his comfort zone a little bit and then come with the double team and you got to be really communicating on the backside your rotations because they run another big guy right to the front of the rim where he's looking for and then they spread the shooters out on the perimeter so you got to be talking this is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show over the next hour You'll hear from both head coaches, Matt Painter and Fran McCaffrey. Bobby Hansen's club car wash keys to the game, keys to an Iowa victory, and a Hawkeye historical winning moment. U.S. Cellular is today's game sponsor. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today for choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. It's another big day in the Big Ten. Take an early peek here at the U.S. Bank scoreboard. At U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. The U.S. Bank is committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Ohio State hosting Penn State. They tipped at 11. Ohio State led got out to a 16 to nothing lead on Penn State uh, coach uh, used two timeouts to try and settle the Nittany Lions down now they're back uh uh, they got down worse, but they're back to within 16 as they just start the second half. 35-19 second half going on in Columbus. At uh, In about uh, an hour, likewise, Iowa-Purdue. Northwestern is at Nebraska. Iowa State faces uh, TCU on the road. Drake hosts Evansville, and Northern Iowa uh, tangles with Southern Illinois up at the McLeod Center. Oklahoma has an early or is in an early hold of Cincinnati. They just started that game. Uh, number 21 Dayton leads big over Rhode Island. 
Seton Hall, who the Hawks beat earlier this year, has a five-point lead on Creighton early in the second half out in New Jersey. And at St. John's, 36, Marquette, 31 early on in the second half. That's the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Uh, we're coming up, uh, coming back in just a minute. We'll take a trip down memory lane with the Hawkeye historical winning moment courtesy of Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Iowa, Purdue, about an hour straight ahead. This is Hawkeye basketball from their field. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need, whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. Welcome back to our pregame coverage of Iowa Purdue, the number two ranked Purdue Boilermakers with college basketball's best player, Zach Eady. Hawks have their work cut out for them defensively today, but it's a much different, better Iowa team than the one that showed up in Backy Arena in early December. Let's go back further in history. A Hawkeye historical winning moment comes your way each game day, courtesy of Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Stop by for a relaxing massage at the spa. Bobby uh, Hansen is ready for that spa after shoveling four feet of snow off his deck <laughs> earlier this week. Did you get it all off, or is it still, you still a work in progress? Give all the credit to my wife, Mary, who way to go, Mary. insisted that we go out there, and she has done it twice already. And <laughs> I thought I'd better chip in this time. And Feeling okay, though. That's a good husband. Uh, well, take Mary with you for a, a spa, a relaxing there massage at the spa down at Riverside Casino and Golf. And then uh, enjoy dinner tonight at uh, Ruthie's Steak and Seafood. Mwah. Outstanding. I've been there a number of times. There's so much more to do at Riverside Casino and Golf, located just minutes south of Iowa City. It was seven years ago, uh, 2017, early January. Peter Jock threw in 29 points 
dished out eight assists, had six rebounds, and the Hawks rallied from a nine-point halftime deficit to beat then number 17 Purdue, 83-78. Freshman, freshman Tyler Cook had 16 points for the Hawkeyes. Cordell Pemsel led the club with eight rebounds. The Hawks out-rebounded Purdue 35-28. That was big. It would be big today as well. But Iowa shot 67% in the second half. Jordan Bohannon's free throws uh, in the closing second sealed the deal. And the Hawks beat Purdue 83-78. Talk about a team with shooters, Ooh. Jock and Bohannon. Yeah, that, that whole group that you mentioned right there. Some of the Purdue guys, Jerry, pull that back. I saw Caleb Swanigan, his name in there. And uh... What I remember about Swanigan is he deadened. He wasn't sure if he wanted to dunk it or set it up and in with the team uh, down, his team down one with 13 seconds to go, and the thing tumbled off the front Missed of the rim, it. and the Hawks got the nice. Pemsel got the rebound. I remember that. Good Why? I don't know. But, here today. Yeah, I, let's hope, hopefully, that... Uh, Tyler the, Cook, the freshman, though, as you mentioned, 16.7 of 10. Oh, he went on, had a, a terrific uh, career uh, Isaiah for, Moss. for Iowa. Isaiah Moss. Uh, Bohannon uh, had 12 points, nine assists yeah. in that game. Uh, great memories. Iowa beating Purdue. Uh, here in uh, 2017. That's the Hawkeye historical winning moment courtesy of Riverside Casino and Golf. Now before we take a break on our Iowa Soybean Association pregame coverage, let's uh, give you the Hawkeye women's sports update courtesy of the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events as well as state tournaments like volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. The Hawkeye Swimmers and diving team uh, in action, uh, in particular, Scarlett Martin and Olivia Swally were named Big Ten Athletes of the Week after a dual win against Illinois. Martin, a sophomore from Coralville, was named the Big Ten Swimmer of the Week for the second time of this season. And Swally, a freshman from Johnson, we've talked about Olivia before, a fabulous athlete. She earned her fourth Big Ten Freshman of the Week. The Hawkeyes will be in action again. February 2nd and 3rd in West Lafayette uh, for competition against Purdue Northwestern, uh, a double duel against Purdue and Northwestern. The Hawkeye women's basketball team, we saw them working out earlier. They head out later today for a big game in Columbus tomorrow against number 18 Ohio State. Pre-game coverage on the Hawkeye Radio Network with Rob Brooks and Catherine Reynolds will start at 1045 tomorrow morning. The Hawkeyes are hosting the 7th annual uh, Larry Wazorik Invitational at the Hawkeye Indoor Track and uh, Field Facility at the uh, Tennis and Recreation Complex this weekend. The Hawks are welcoming Bradley, Illinois, Illinois State, Indian Hills, Purdue State, Mount Mercy, SIU Edwardsville, UNI, Western Illinois, and Wisconsin. So if you're coming to the game, stop on over at the rec center afterwards for uh, some great track and field. And the Hawkeye women's wrestling team will be back at Carver right here tomorrow to face Life University and Missouri Valley College. Uh, tomorrow at 1.30, Iowa will wrestle Missouri Valley in the second duel of the day uh, at 2 p.m. The Hawks close out the afternoon wrestling Life uh, at uh, 2.30. Stephen Grace will have live coverage on the official Iowa Hawkeyes YouTube channel starting at 1.15. That's our Hawkeye women's sports update. And this is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Join Iowa women's basketball coach Lisa Bluter and Iowa men's basketball coach Fran McCaffrey for Hawk Talk live from the Hyatt Regency in Coralville's Iowa River Landing. Check out the schedule on HawkeyeSports.com. Right now you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. 
This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite and Draft Day delivers a one-of-a-kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non-golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Second rank Purdue visits Iowa City this afternoon here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. The Boilermakers, uh, after being knocked off by Nebraska, uh, a week and a half ago, have won two games in succession since then, defeating Penn State and then hammering Indiana in Bloomington uh, earlier in the week. The Boilermakers won those two games by an average of 19 points. The Hawkeyes have won three consecutive games and are back at level 500 in the Big Ten. U.S. Cellular is excited to be here today and have so much to celebrate. U.S. Cellular is a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, and cheering on the Hawks, that's one of our favorite things. So today we're cheering on Iowa and encouraging fans to enjoy the experience by making Hawkeye connections and sharing game day high fives, creating memories with their friends and families. A U.S. Cellular, a longtime, a longtime customer and sponsor of uh, Iowa Hawkeye Athletics, and it's been a great uh, relationship, and we're happy to welcome Nick Freshour to the microphone. Nick's the area development manager, longtime Iowa fan. Uh, Nick, tell us more about how U.S. Cellular is encouraging fans to create memories and be present at the game. All right, Gary, thanks a lot. Thanks for having us today. Uh, U.S. Cellular is encouraging people to have healthier digital habits. Uh, U.S. Cellular, we offer several tools like Us Mode to help customers and people take time out so they can focus on what really matters to them. Um, if people are interested in those tools and what they can do, please visit uscellular.com forward slash built for us to learn more about those tools. Uh, Nick, your college program is about timeouts for what matters. What does that mean? Tell us more about that. Yeah, our program at U.S. Cellular, Timeouts for What Matters, encourages fans to make a pledge to be present on game day. And we're also partnering with Hawkeyes like Gabby Marshall, Drake Ayala, and Cade McNamara. We're encouraging them to tell their stories about why taking timeouts matters most for them, um, especially being a D1 student athlete and everything they're dealing with. Yeah, they have a hectic schedule, and uh, and and they they can get the attention of uh, uh, people, young people like themselves, to uh, uh, the importance of timeout for what matters. Uh, Nick, uh, speaking of genuine connections and tech that unites, uh, what are your hottest offers right now on the on the U.S. cellular shelf? 
Yeah, we have a lot of great deals at U.S. Cellular. Um, whether you're a current customer, a longtime customer, you're not a customer of U.S. Cellular, uh, we have a lot of great things happening. You can stop into any of our stores around Iowa, and uh, we would invite you in and love to show you some of uh, the devices we have to offer and our award-winning network. So we'd, we'd love to have you in. Nick, uh, U.S. Cellular has been a great partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, what makes that connection so viable? Uh, why U.S. Cellular in Iowa? What's the draw? You know, I, I think the draw is just genuine um, connections that fans and we have at U.S. Cellular with the Iowa Hawkeyes. Um, we, we love cheering on the Hawks. It's one of our favorite things to do. And when Coach McCaffrey won his 272nd win at Minnesota, we were we were cheering along with him, with the team. So um, we just love the relationship, and uh, we've been excited to be a partner with uh, the Iowa Hawkeyes for so long. And the Hawkeye Radio Network and uh, all of us at uh, Learfield have been excited to have U.S. Selgeter as a longtime partner. Uh, Nick Freshour, Area Development Manager and part of today's U.S. Cellular Game Day Sponsorship of Iowa Purdue. Thanks so much, Nick, for your time. Uh, Happy New Year. Yeah, thanks, Dolph. Go Hawks. And the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show continues in just a minute. It's Purdue, Iowa at Carver. The Hawkeyes hope to fare better on defense after allowing the Boilermakers to shoot 52% in the first meeting back in December. A lot has happened since then. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's be honest, we all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's authentic brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the authentic brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at authentic-brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for authentic brand. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. 
Welcome back to Carver Hawkeye Arena. A rare Saturday afternoon game uh, between the Hawkeyes and the Purdue Boilermakers. Uh, welcome back to our Iowa Soybean Association pregame coverage. Uh, counting today, Purdue will have played five of its first eight Big Ten games on the road. Uh, Matt Painter is fine with that as long as he's got Zach Eady uh, healthy. And we'll hear from Coach uh, in just a minute. United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics have teamed up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Congratulations to this week's winner, Whip It Good Catering, located in Indianola, providing catering in central Iowa, as well as family-style home-cooked freezer meals available for purchase at the Indianola Hy-Vee, the home of Chris Street, Indianola. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Uh, Purdue got ambushed by Nebraska out in Lincoln a couple weeks ago. Uh, the Huskers, of course, hit 14 threes that day. And all Purdue has done is bounce back with solid victories over Penn State. And then at Indiana the other night, winning by 20. Uh, Matt Painter is uh, pleased with the way his 16-2 and Boilermakers are looking at the moment. Yeah, they've done a, a really good job. Obviously, you know, playing at home versus playing on the road is is a lot different. And what I really had talked to our guys about was the team we saw, you know, in West Lafayette from Iowa isn't going to be the same team today. It just isn't. That's just that's college basketball. Sometimes things go for you, especially at home. And then you get on the road, and then it's a lot different when you got to play that game from a competitive standpoint. You know. Guys, that when you get beat, like, you know, they don't want that to happen again. They definitely don't want that to happen at home. So, you know, uh, we, we got to be prepared for today. But uh, our guys have done a good job. I thought they played really well. Even though we didn't shoot great down in Indiana, I thought we played well. Coach, uh, you brought in some new pieces this year. Uh, I really like your transfer from uh, – uh, Southern Illinois, a, a place you're familiar with. Yeah, yeah. No, Lance Jones has really helped us. He gives us another ball handler when people press us. He's um, a good on-ball defender. He can make you know open shots, gives us that quickness. But um, he's played really hard, and he's blended in with our guys. Coach, uh, this league has seen great centers from your playing days to present day. What is it about Zach Eady that, that separates him or sets him apart that maybe you haven't seen? Yeah, just, you know, obviously ultimate size, but all, you know, the competitive piece. Like, he plays hard. He goes to the glass every time. You know, he, he posts hard every time. He doesn't take a playoff. Even though they're different players, you know, we talked earlier before we went on about Luca Garza. You know, like Luca Garza always gave you 100%. He wasn't one of those big guys that, you know, four out of five plays, he went hard. You know, he ran the court sometimes, sometimes he didn't. No, he played hard all the time. And even though they're different, you know, having that that angle in the post, you know, those guys are going to get fouled or score. You know, like running the court, doing the little things. Those guys are just both competitive. So I think that's the number one thing for him is just that ultimate size. And then, like, it's like a good team that presses, right? It's hard in practice to really simulate that, and it's him. Like, you can go against him, you know, but until you get familiar with him and understand the work you got to put in to stop him from getting the basketball deep, you know, you're at his mercy. You're going to get a couple cheap fouls. You're going to get some things happen to you. So you got to work, you know, from day one against Luca Garza, day one against Zach Eady. you got to put in the work to fight them to have a chance. You know, your guards have always been impressed with their consistency, uh, particularly Fletcher and, and uh, Braden this year. Yeah, both of those guys have played well. Obviously, going from their freshman to their sophomore years really helped them. Fletch has shot the ball a lot better um, than he did last year, and that really opens up things for him as he can get some angles. You know, Braden's a quintessential point. You know, he uh, can run a team. He finds people he can pass. He's really looked for a shot. Other night, he took some really good shots that just didn't go down. We need him to keep being aggressive and looking for a shot, but both those guys have been spectacular for us. Uh, Fran's got a lot of new pieces this year. What do you like about his team? Well, I think it's the balance uh, of what he has. He has big guys that are mobile, that can move and do things. Um, you know, they can shoot on the perimeter. They can drive. Owen Freeman has, has really played well, you know, as a freshman. You know, Perk didn't play well at our place, but, you know, he, he's had some really good games against us, the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Um, you know, when you look at the guys that can move and shoot, you know, that that – that's hard for us, you know, so those the twos and the threes that they have, you know, whether that's, you know, Dix or Sanford, like those guys are tough covers. You can't foul them. You can't let them get in their little groove. Um, but especially Sanford, like it seems like 
if you let him get his head up, like you can actually play good defense and it doesn't matter. Like he can just make tough shots. But Dix has been really good here the past two or three weeks. So those three guards right there, and then they have good pieces that come that come off. They just didn't get going at our place and getting that rhythm. And that's what's dangerous about them. You know, you let them get their heads up and you let them get in that rhythm. You know, like I said about Sanford, it can be that way about their team. You can play pretty good defense and they still make shots. Uh, lastly, 31 years ago, uh, we lost Chris Street. I know yeah. you were close to Chris as a competitor, as a player in the offseason. You did some traveling uh, on foreign teams. Uh, uh, it never gets old to talk about him, does it? I, I can still see that smile. Yeah, no, no question about it. And obviously, with, with Paul Lusk being on my staff at Southern Illinois and Purdue twice and me going on that trip with Chris. And, you know, the thing that jumps out to me was that, you know, his spirit, his competitive spirit, like when he played and how he got along with everybody. But then his parents, the way they've kept his spirit alive. It's, you know, just from, from day one, it was such a, a tragedy. But, you know, his his parents always talked about Christopher. You know, they always bring it. And that was, that's just, a, you know, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing the way they've done that. This community, the whole state of Iowa has kept his spirit alive um, because, you know, you know, it was it was hard on all of us. It's hard on all of us, you know, to, to this day, 31 years later. Um, but, you know, kudos to that family and kudos to the University of Iowa. Matt, thanks for your time as always. Good to see you. All right, thank you. Coach Matt Painter, the Purdue Boilermakers, he and uh, Chris Street were very close. Uh, they're similar in age and uh, played on a lot of teams' uh, competition in the offseason uh, together. Matt Painter, by the way, has tied Lou Henson for fifth place on the all-time wins list for Big Ten conference games only. Hopefully the Hawkeyes deny him the next one here this afternoon. It's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great, great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Up next, we'll hear from Hawkeye head coach Fran McCaffrey, presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers. The Hawks going for four in a row. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just needs someone to listen. 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to Wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at budmary.com. 
This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Welcome back to our Hawkeye pregame coverage, courtesy of the Iowa Soybean Association. Coach Fran McCaffrey is sponsored by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including Van Wall Equipment in Grinnell. How tight is it in this uh, Big Ten race? Seems like we say this every year. From top to bottom, all 14 teams are separated by three games, and that hasn't been lost on Coach McCaffrey. Not surprising to him either. Every year, Dolph, and you know, I think this year in particular, it's there's really a lot of parity. Uh, a lot of teams have new players, transfer portal guys, some freshmen that are contributing. But, uh, you know, especially on the road, you know, if you can get one on the road, that's really big. Indeed. And uh, why not with the, the balance you showed in Minneapolis uh, from Owen Freeman in limited minutes because of foul trouble, but another double-double. Uh, ben Cricky uh, had his moments. Tony Perkins with the four baskets late. And then Josh Dix, a career-high 21. A, a lot of medals to hand out. Yeah, and I think that's the kind of team we have, and that's how we have to play. You know, it makes us hard to guard. We have a lot of different guys that are capable of getting 20. Uh, we move and share the ball. You know, I think a lot of times it comes down to rebounding. Can you rebound? And that's obviously going to be huge today. Sure is. What is it about Zach Eady, other than his size, that makes him such a difficult guard for Purdue? Well, the thing about them is, you know, it always obviously starts with Eady. And you could argue that it starts with Smith as well, because he's sort of the, the, the engine. But uh, their offensive rebounding, Tenacity is a game changer. You know, last time we played them, Edie got nine. Uh, so you got to, you know, obviously front screen him. You got to be physical and, and hold your block out position. But but Kaufman, Wren, Caleb First, Ethan Morton, all these guys that come off the bench and they're guards, they fly around and rebound. And consequently, Dolph, they get second shot, kick out threes. A lot of those are the ones they make. Uh, so the key is to get that first miss. Also, Coach, uh, that was the opening game of the conference in early December. Uh, this is a different Iowa team, uh, and in my view, a much better Iowa team than that night in December. Yeah, you know, obviously we went bigger. You know, we've got Owen Freeman in the starting lineup, and he's been great. Uh, you know, it gives us an opportunity to play Ben at the four spot. Uh, tough Tough situation for him to be in the five. Sometimes it's good offensive, a bit hard defensively. And we need to keep Ben out of foul trouble. Uh, but those two guys have good chemistry together. And then we can bring in Lodgy, who's done a really good job. He was plus 17 the other night on the floor. His defense and rebounding was spectacular. So you know, I really like where we are in terms of personnel. With Josh Dix, is it as simple as experience uh, equates to confidence? Uh, a few shots go down, then the, the thing looks like it's, uh, that basket looks like it's as wide as a river. Well, the thing about him is he just needs playing time. You know, we've given it to him, obviously, with Patrick's injury that's helped. But he's sort of earned uh, more minutes uh, on a consistent basis, whether Patrick's playing or not. You know, he's versatile. He can play the one, two, and the three. He has a three-point shot, uh, you know, th th that we want him to shoot. He's got a pull-up game, and he can make plays for his teammates and get to the rim. Uh, and he plays kind of at his pace. Nothing rattles him. Just an incredibly valuable guy. Coach, you mentioned the Purdue guards. Uh, when Iowa's had success, at least in recent memory, that 1-2-2 two, two has been really effective. You've turned the guards over a lot, gotten a few 10-second uh, violations. Uh, that would be huge today. be huge today. Now, when we played down there, it was pretty ineffective. Uh, but you're right, Dolph. Over the years, it's been very effective. Obviously, they've, they've worked on it. They have really good guards, and they have experienced guards. Now, last year, you know, Lawyer and Smith were freshmen. Uh, but they now have... Those two guys are sophomores. Jones is a transfer, a senior. Uh, but we'll press and, and, and you know, we'll, we'll get after them and, and, and sort of try to make them play away from Edie. 
because eventually that's where it ends up. For sure. Let's conclude with the announcement uh, earlier uh, this week uh, that uh, Beth Getz has had the interim removed from her name, uh, uh, passed overdue in my view. She's really done a great job since stepping into that role in August. She's terrific. You know, I think, you know, when you look at somebody that's promoted from within, you look at their track record, you look at their body of work, incredibly impressive. But we've also all had the opportunity to work with her for over a year and see her work and see her vision. She's just amazing at getting along with people and understanding the landscape and what we need to do here. So I'm just really excited about the future and looking forward to working with her. 31 years ago, we lost Chris Street, uh, and uh, not to use a play on words, but it, it never gets old keeping his memory alive, does it? It does not, and we're so thankful that you know, Mike and Patty are still very close to all of our players, to our team, to our staff. I watched the Journey special yesterday. It was on. Uh, what a fabulous job Matt did from the Big Ten Journey and capturing what that meant to our program, to our institution, to our state. Uh, and we'll keep doing it. You and I will, will work the uh, Chris Street golf outing again, and the whole Street family will be there. And looking forward to seeing Mike and Patty today. Fran, thanks so much for your time. As always, good luck today against the Boilermakers. Appreciate it, Dolph. Hawkeyes are leading the Big Ten and third nationally, averaging 20 assists a game. Uh, the 87 points a game you know about. Hawkeyes, one of the nation's top scoring teams and the very best in conference play. And they'll need all of those today against these Purdue Boilermakers. Our pregame visit with Fran McCaffrey is brought to you by Van Wall Equipment. Nothing runs like a deer, especially when supported by the team at Van Wald Equipment. Stop by one of their locations and lear learn how to farm better, work smarter, and play harder. When you run with Van Wall and John Deere. Up next, Bobby Hansen has his club car wash keys to the game. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales.
Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. 15 minutes away from tip off, the Hawkeyes and the Purdue Boilermakers. Uh, let's go inside the strategies of Coach McCaffrey and Coach Painter. Bobby Hansen's keys to the game are sponsored by the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes Club Car Wash with unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month. There's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. And temperature's going to warm up. That lineup at Club Car Wash hmm, will be uh, several blocks long. So get your, get your card and they'll run you right through. They're very efficient uh, in running the line down and through at Club Car Wash. It's going to be busy next week as well it should be. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be busy here in about 20 minutes, big fellow. What do you, you got down got there? It, Dolphy. Yeah, number one key. I, you know, just kind of thinking about this for the last few days and, uh, you know, just today we remember Chris Street and the energy, the spirit that he played with. That's what the Hawkeyes got to bring. You got to bring that Chris Street type of energy here to this basketball game and just how he flew all over the court and never backed down to anybody seven foot or six foot. So play with the energy that, that Chris uh, Street uh, has and will be with us here uh, today at Carver Hawkeye Arena, but number one key probably is Z. What do you do with big Zach Eady? Seven foot four, 300 pounds. Do you play him behind him? Do you double team him, Gary? Do you play him one-on-one? -on -one? He can dominate you inside, so it's going to take a total team effort to control the big man. He kicks it out. He kicks it out to the shooters. Your rotations need to be quick on the backside, and it's going to take maximum effort. Everybody talking, communicating, everybody on the same page, because he is the National College Player of the Year. The second key, maybe the most important, this one is rebound. Produce always battled on the boards. Edie's big. We know that. But Mason Gillis plays hard. Trey Kaufman Wren, another big guy that starts alongside of Zach Eady. Caleb first comes in. Lance Jones, the, the two guard. He, he's out there uh, scrumming out some uh, rugby type of uh, uh, offensive rebounds. Ethan Morton comes in with hustle rebound. So everybody has got to be on the boards. And you cannot give up a ton of second chance points to uh, the Boilermakers here this afternoon. The third key, I'm going to call this one my, my favorite key, my biggest key to today is run. you got to get your fast break going. Uh, can you get it going? Can you rebound the basketball? That's the number one key. You got to get defensive stops if you're going to be able to run. You got to make this big guy run up and down the court. He is not a runner. Oh, and Freeman can definitely outrun him. Ben Cricky. So he's going to have to make threes in this basketball game as well. Uh, I say the Hawks 10 plus threes. Hold Purdue to less than six. You come out with a victory. Uh, you heard Fran McCaffrey offensive rebounding. You got to deny Purdue. On the offensive flash, you got to rebound that first miss, yeah. and that will fuel that running game as well as anything. Yeah, that's a really good point. You know, not the second, third, fourth one, because they'll, they'll come get them, but get that first rebound on, the, on getting a defensive stand. That's the last piece of the defensive puzzle. Bobby's keys to the game brought to you by Club Car Wash. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. They each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, a 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family. When you next visit Hawkeye Country, hi to our friends at the Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. And hi to our buddy, uh, the crown prince of the Carroll County, Carroll County Eye Club, Bill Winger. <laughs> Bill had a new hip put in this week. Oh, Bill. Uh, Farmer Bill. So yeah, I guess he's getting it done at the right time when yeah. there's two feet of snow on the ground. Let him take care of you, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Uh, do what your doctors and your wife tell you. He doesn't like to do that, but he, <laughs> he was over here at University Hospital as I talked to him the other day. Billy, I know you're glued to the radio, as Zobel used to say, and uh, we're pulling for you to get on that fast track to recovery. And hi to everybody at the Carroll County Eye Club for that matter. Great eye club out there. All right, we're going to come back in just a minute with the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. 
And the Farmers State Bank tip-off, that's straight ahead. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. What are you craving? The Wigan Pen in Ankeny across from DMAC is proud to be the home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza. The Wig has all your favorites, including Thin Crust and Chicago-style pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches, pints of beer, plus a full bar. And this family-friendly local favorite is hiring. All ages are encouraged to apply from 15 to 115. Flexible hours and a fun environment? Call or just come on in. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny. What are you craving? Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Purdue and Iowa, great rivalry down through the years. Uh, the Boilermakers we're number one for a good portion of the season. They're ranked number two now. Of course, what, what do the rankings mean? Uh, with uh, 60 days until Selection Sunday, that's when it all matters. Let's look at today's starting lineups courtesy of Mid-American Energy. Mid-American makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you can count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. And I don't want to make light of the rankings because I was reading this morning where Purdue, the season ended today, they would be the number one overall seed. Hmm. So you right got, there with UConn. Yeah, you got UConn, Kansas, and Houston would yeah. be the other number one seeds Good today. Board. Yeah, today. And it does mean something. Purdue's Gary. been consistent. You're right. Yeah, but you're, this is where you're building your resume, and you can knock off a number two team at home. That's gonna that's gonna boost up your net. Sure is. So let's take a look at that Mid American Energy starting lineup that the Hawks are trying to beat. The Purdue Boilermakers, head coach Matt Painter. Hard to believe Matt's been there 19 years, 420 victories. He's now tied with Lou Henson, hmm. the Lou Do, uh, for the most victories in uh, the history of Big Ten Conference basketball. Purdue 16 and 2, 5 and 2 in the league, averaging 85 points, giving up 69. Fletcher Lawyer starts at a guard, 6-4, uh, sophomore from Fort Wayne. At the other guard, Braden Smith. He can shoot it, but he's an assist man, averaging seven a game. Six-foot sophomore from Westfield, Indiana. At a forward, Trey Kaufman Wren, 6'9", 230-pound rebounding sophomore from Sellersburg, Indiana. At the other uh, guard, forward, Lance Jones. He can shoot at the transfer, grad transfer from Southern Illinois. Out of Evanston, Illinois, he's a senior, averaging 12 points. And, of course, Zach Eady. The seven foot three, seven four, three hundred pound senior from Toronto, Canada, averages twenty three points and eleven rebounds. Now you'll see off the bench Mason Gillis and Caleb First, uh, along with others. Uh, they'll go uh, eight nine deep. Ethan Morton plays a lot for the Purdue Boilermakers. For the Hawkeyes, who enter today on a three game winning streak, eleven and six overall, level five hundred in the Big Ten at three up and three down. Hawks leading the Big Ten, averaging 87 points a game, allowing 76. Josh Dix, keep it going, Josh. 6'5", sophomore from Council Bluffs, Lincoln. will start at a guard. Tony Perkins, 6'4", senior from Indianapolis. 
and Lawrence North High School will start at a big guard. Peyton Sanford, guard forward, 6'7", junior from Waukee. Ben Cricky, Iowa's leading scorer, at 17 points a game. 6'9", grad transfer forward, 235 pounds from Edmonton, Alberta, and Valparaiso University. And Big Ten Freshman of the Week, Owen Freeman, 11.6 rebounds are his numbers. The 6'10", 230-pound freshman from Moline High School. Hawks will come off the bench with Brock Harding and DeSante Bowen, Laji Dembele. Patrick McCaffrey is not going to play again today. Patrick uh, nursing that sore ankle yet. Those are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. Buckeye Sports Properties and Iowa Athletics thank U.S. Cellular for its sponsorship of today's game. U.S. Cellular is built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. Game days are made for Hawkeye Connections and Herky High Fives. U.S. Cellular, a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Opening tip is next, Iowa-Purdue. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. When the game goes into overtime... But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com and switch today. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy, look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye basketball. By your local Ford dealers. And by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. It's game time. Out of 
Peyton Sanford. Across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir! 54 and a foul. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. Big, big crowd uh, this afternoon at Carver Hawkeye Arena. This awesome. Is, this is what uh, this arena should look like uh, yeah. every Big Ten game, uh, weather aside, of course. Yeah, they did some tough weeknight games, but on a Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock, this place is going to be electric golf. They had uh, 12, 13,000 tickets sold as of Wednesday, and it looks it looks pretty full, Bob. Key is great to have the students here, back in. Get yeah. your students back. Yep, that's right. Band is alive. And... Coach McCaffrey being honored as well he should for career win number 272. Now Iowa's all-time. Winning us basketball coach. He's going to get a great hand here in just a second. We talked about it a lot on Hawk Talk the other night. Let's pause uh, 10 seconds right now for station identification. Station ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball. McCaffrey, uh, I guess we're going to do a presentation here. A little video tribute right now. Yeah, a little video tribute to Coach for the win at Minnesota the other day that represents 272 career wins. Uh, broke the, the record previously held by Dr. Tom Davis, Coach Davis. We're replaying Fran's opening press conference 14, 14 years ago. Even the officials are clapping. <laughs> Franz had his, his mix up. His run ends with the officials, but uh, that's all part of the game. The McCaffrey family. Now with a little video presentation on the scoreboard. Now Franz's family is coming up. Margaret. Connor. Dr. Tom Davis to become the winningest coach. Who is it? Jack. Merrick, all giving Dad a, a, a hug, and Margaret, of course, saving the biggest hug for Coach. And now, Iowa's new athletic director. She's been here for a few months, but um, Beth Getz, it's an announcement a few days ago. And Beth Getz will be presenting a basketball, commemorative basketball, to Coach McCaffrey. Nice done. Nicely done, Beth. How about that? That's uh, terrific. Well deserved. He works hard. Heck of a coach. Every coach has a, a different personality. And, be hard to top his. He wants the team to come out and join him now and have the uh, cameras and the photographers do their thing for a couple minutes. You now the players change. The coaches uh, stay the same as they go out and recruit from generation to generation. So a very nice touch here today. It was great, Dolphy, and you got Dr. Tom on to talk with Fran on the Hawk Talk, on Hawk talk. the other night. Heard a lot of positive comments. We're going to replay uh, a portion of that, Bobby, uh, at halftime, the exchange with uh, Tom Davis and Coach McCaffrey on our Hawk Talk program the other night. It was really a, a lot of fun. C.J. Parker, we've had C.J. here before, is going to sing our national anthem before we have the Farmers State Bank tip-off. Iowa Purdue. Let's enjoy as we honor America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting 
Job by uh, I think I said CJ Parker, CJ Carter, doing the national anthem. Great job by CJ. He hits every note, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, Good, held it too. Hawkeyes are hopefully going to hit every basket from three today, like the last time they were here for Nebraska. 15 threes. Uh, ooh, let's hope they're uh, zeroed in like that again today. Yeah, that, that's big. When you get up, when you get, when you can upset a team like that, a number two team in the country with all the weapons that they have, you got to hit threes. Our officials, by the way, for this game, Jeffrey Anderson is the referee. Brian McNutt and Rob Kenneman are the umpires. Veteran crew assigned to Iowa and Purdue. Today's opening tip is sponsored by Farmer State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com. That's myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit. Requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC Farmers State Bank. Bobby, we've talked a lot about uh, Zach Eady in our pregame coverage here leading up to the tip-off, the defending national player of the year. I mean, he, he's as if every bit as effective as and means as much to his team as Caitlin Clark uh, does to the Iowa Hawkeyes. And, but, but that said, like Lisa Bluter, Matt Painter has other weapons at his disposal, including sharpshooting guards Fletcher Loyal, uh, Lawyer, Braden Smith, and the Southern Illinois transfer, Lance Jones, he had a big second half against the Hawkeyes uh, down at Mackey. Uh, and any thoughts of a comeback were quickly dashed by the way he played on the perimeter. Yeah, it's a transfer portal guy, and he, he's just tough. You know, he's their third guard in there. you got the two little guys, uh, Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer, that are snipers from the outside. Braden Smith playing at an All-American level with his rebounding, his assists, his three-point shooting. is like 40-plus percent. So uh, Lance Jones, yeah, he kind of does the dirty work, Gary. He gets in there, he plays some defense. The points he got against Iowa, if you remember, we were pressing. We, we were behind a lot, so we were pressing, and he got in the open court and kind of finished off the Hawks. Iowa Purdue, this is the 175th meeting in this series, which began back in 1908. Purdue leads the all time series 96 to 78. The Boilermakers have won nine of the last 12. Matt Painter's done a great job with that program. Played there. He's a terrific player at uh, Purdue. And, you know, I, I recognize this series, Bobby, uh, historically watching so many games down through the years, whether it was uh, uh, Gene Cady coaching or, or Rick Mount shooting. I remember that famous game of 1969-70 with that undefeated Iowa team, uh, uh, Vidnovic and Calabria and that crew. And what, what games they had with Purdue uh, in that era. It seems like every era. But I, I equate this series with uh, Iowa-Indiana, Iowa-Minnesota, uh, all the great rivalries that are well into the uh, the hundreds in terms of uh, how old the series is. Yeah, the conference continues to grow, Gary, so you don't have those you know natural uh, rivalries that have happened in the past. This is one of those natural rivalries that goes a long way back to the original Big Ten, now, whether it be football or basketball or women's basketball. But, yeah, been some great games along the way. They've had great teams, great coaches. We all remember Gene Cady before him with Lee Rose. We played him in the Final Four in the consolation game and Joe Barry Carroll the big guy that, that they had there they just have always had good teams they had a little down spell at the beginning of Matt Painter the end of Gene Cady beginning of Matt Painter but he has quickly brought this team back uh, to the top in the country and uh, you know as you mentioned probably a number one seed if you're uh, picking seeds here today but have had a little bit of tough luck in the NCAA tournament the one I remember getting knocked off with it last year 16, 16 seed 
first time him. that's ever happened. Whoa. And you can bet they've used that as motivation uh, to get back. Uh, not only as a number one seed, to, to, to make uh, a deep run all the way to the final four. All right, this is the Farmer State Bank opening tip. Great atmosphere here. Great to see the old, the old girl Carver Hawkeye Arena full, like back when Bobby Hansen played. Ben Cricky and Zach, check out Owen Freeman, will jump center against Zach Eady. Doesn't really matter whether it's Cricky or Freeman. Uh, Freeman, uh, they, they, they quick they, jump him. They come up to like Edie's breastplate. This guy is huge, and his arms might be longer than Owen's body. Get up there. Both in the go. air, and Freeman got off the floor a little quicker. Bobby, good yeah, call. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a good start. The Hawks. I got to imagine that Freeman or uh, Edie doesn't lose many jump ball starts of games. Here's a lob into Owen. He's double teamed, including Edie. I right puts out. the ball on the floor. Peyton for three from the wing. Good. Peyton Sanford. Just what uh, Matt Painter talked about in the pregame show. Sanford, you can be guarding him, and he still strokes three. Yeah, they had good defense on him, too. He just rolls up over the top of those long arms and drain the first three for the Hawks. There's a trap on Braden Smith near the timeline to Lawyer. Hawkeye's really getting after him defensively. There's a jump pass no inside foul. to Edie. Up with a shot. No good. Rebound tipped. Offensive rebound. Here's a shot fake. Now a three coming from the corner. And it is in and out. No good. Edie with a rebound up and in. He went right up over the top of Owen Freeman, who had him blocked out beautifully. But the rebound came off long, and that's all Edie needed. 3-2. He, he had him blocked off, too, Gary. Just a long arms stretch over the top without fouling and got that offensive putback. You probably got to push him out a little deeper, do your work a little bit earlier. Trey Kaufman red and guarding Ben Cricky. Ben stumbled, went to the floor, lost the ball out of bounds to an early turnover by Iowa. Hawks still lead at 3-2 after Peyton Sanford's three. Played one minute. Purdue shoots for its first lead. Lance Jones leaves it for Lawyer. Now to Braden Smith. This guy is a cat quick guard. Really good player. They lob it inside to Edie. Turn shoots. Shot no good, but a foul called on Owen Freeman, and that's the first one called on Owen. And we're a minute 20 into the game. Just Boy, don't know what you can do. Not a lot of contact there. France claiming Owen was standing straight up with his arms up in the air. He's arguing for his guy, as you would expect, but Edie's shooting two free throws. First one is no good. 76% is Zach Edie. Yeah, he's a good free throw shooter. Really good free throw shooter. Franz giving it to Jeffrey Anderson. Jeff's got to let him play. Yeah, hopefully Franz' message has gotten through. You cannot have Owen Freeman on the bench like he was the other day at Minnesota. Now we've got a stoppage of play. More leakage. We had, we had some water leaking uh, condensation. Leaking or condensation in the lane. We had some water as the temperature or as the sun melts some of the snow on top of Carver. It's seeping through. Tie game as Edie hits one of two free throws off the Iowa turnover. Here's Josh Dix, who's really upped his game since that first night in Mackey Arena. Here's Owen Freeman. He's got Lawyer on him on a mismatch. Josh Dix couldn't get the ball. Tony Perkins will fire up a three, and that's off the mark. Tipped out by Peyton Sanford. Good job by Peyton. Cricky open from the baseline. Jump shot good. Hawkeyes five, Purdue three. Yeah, good offensive rebound that time. Peyton Sanford, the long arm, tipped it from the offside out to Tony Perkins and found Ben Cricky, that short corner on the left side, Gary, 15-footer. Smith deals to Lance Jones, lawyer left wing. Chased by Peyton Sanford. Hawks man to man. Double. Right inside it goes to Edie, double team. Gets it back to Jones. Crowd thought he traveled. Here's Smith. Seven on the shot clock. They're looking for the big fella. He's got it. Double team. Throws out top. Now a three on the way. Good by Lawyer. That's what they do. They get it inside. It always starts in the lane. And then a kick out. And Purdue has its first lead at 6-5 on the three by Fletcher Lawyer. Just keep battling. It's all you can do. Be physical and keep battling. Not foul. Dix hits a cunning Tony Perkins. Score and a foul called on Purdue. Uh, that's a good job by... 
The Hawks spreading that uh, middle out for Tony Perkins to cut wing to the center and a good pass hit him in transition. That was Dix and he knocked it in off the square. Iowa regains the lead at 7-6. Foul on Lance Jones. I believe it'll be his first there. And Tony Perkins does such a good job lately of cutting to the hoop with a purpose. Tony completes the three-point play. 8-6 Iowa. 78% from the foul line. 17 and a half to play the opening period. Hawks hanging with the Boilermakers unlike in West Lafayette back in early December. There's Lawyer. Purdue wearing the charcoal gray with the, the old gold trim. Here's a lob to Edie. Left baseline. He stumbles into the lane and is called for a travel. Good job on the double team as Cricky, yep. Sanford, and I think Freeman got in there as well and uh, knocked the ball loose, and Zach stumbled with it. Yeah, good defense by the Hawkeyes. He was completely surrounded by gold jerseys in there, nowhere to go. That's what you got to keep up all afternoon. Matt Painter claiming a lot of contact there, and we're going to hear that all day from both coaches. Three minutes gone, opening half, 8-6, Iowa. Owen Freeman touches the ball for the first time. Leaves it for Perkins. Tony, step back jumper, good in the lane. Perkins with five in a row, and the Hawkeyes scoot ahead to a 10-6 advantage. What you gotta do, challenge the big man, Zach Eady. Owen Freeman sets the screen. Edie uh, switches off on Tony, and Tony, the little back step, 15-footer for the trip to do. Here's Lawyer, top of the circle, turns the corner, stumbles, gets it to the wing to Braden Smith. Now to Kaufman Wren, 12 to shoot. Inside Edey, jump hook is around and in. He flipped it up there, line drived it up there, and down it went. 10-8, Iowa. 16 and a half to go in the first half. Here's Dix using a screen. Pulled up jumper by Josh is short. Rebounded by Lance Jones, the Southern Illinois transfer. He gets around. Dix at the other end. Throws it into the corner to Smith. Dix has him on the switch. Smith, a bounce and a jump shot and a good by Wren. Trey Kaufman Wren posted down low with Kaufman. Or with uh, Edie, I should say. And then... Uh, Smith just waited for Wren to get single coverage, and he ties the game at 10. Here's Owen, Owen Freeman scoring, went right at Zach Eady, left of the lane, and threw it in with the left hand high off the window. Big time shot there by the freshman who attacked Zach Eady, all seven foot four of him, right through the chest, shot up there with the left hand, got the kiss off the glass. I love the way the Hawks are attacking in the offensive end. Here's Kaufman Wren. Throwing his shoulder into Cricky. Drop step into the lane. Scoop layup. No good. Blocked by Freeman. Rebounded by Kauf, or by Edie, though. Throws it to Lawyer. And a whistle and a foul called on Iowa. A grab. Called on Josh Dix. Iowa's second team foul. A lively first four and a half minutes, to say the least. It'll be Purdue basketball when we come back, thanks to another offensive rebound after Freeman blocked the first shot. With the score, Iowa 12, Purdue 10, 15-25 to play. First half, Big Ten basketball from Carver. This is Hawkeye basketball, presented by Walmart, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and Learfield. When the game goes into overtime, But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. We're just four and a half minutes in and lots of action. The Hawkeyes and Purdue 
The Hawks ran into a buzzsaw to open the Big Ten season a couple months back, but a whole different story here at the start today, Bobby Hanson. Yeah, different team the Hawkeyes are playing with a purpose here, playing with energy and being physical out there. The Hawks off to a good start, have made four of their last five field goals, but Purdue has made four of their last five as well. The difference has been the rebounding, Gary. Four to one in favor of Purdue. They have three offensive rebounds, all by big number 15, Zach Eady. Yeah. I'm second. not sure what you do. What, what, I mean, what you're watching, what are you supposed yeah. to do with the guys? You, you can't you just you just flash guys at him and they're, yep. they're knocking him around pretty good but he's he's so strong he just stands there and stationary and they you know uh, water off a duck's back and he's always going to get the shot off but the hawks are really hustling uh, around the glass so yep. the, the effort is there hopefully the ball starts falling their way hawkeye basketball is sponsored today by mid-american energy tune up your furnace seal up drafts around your house and visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy. Mid-American energy. Purdue basketball off the foul on Josh Dix. Some subs in the game here. Ethan Morton comes in. Got to match his energy and his hustle. Morton, a 6'7", senior from Butler, Pennsylvania. Tony Perkins steals an angled pass and runs out for a dunk. Mason Gillis. Turned it over for the Boilermakers. They're quickly back into the front court. Owen Freeman shoving a Zach Eady around. Now they double him with Cricky into the corner to Gillis, who just pitched it to Tony Perkins. Here's a standstill three. No good by Lawyer. Rebounded by Peyton Sanford. Iowa by four. 14 10. Sanford to Cricky. Cricky dribbles two high hops. Now gives it for Perkins, who's got seven of the Hawkeyes' 14 points. This is a game Taylor made for Tony, Indiana native. Peyton Sanford shot fake. Now step back three on the way. No good. A little strong. Thought that was good. Looked good all the way. Run down in the corner by Ethan Morton. Ahead for Braden Smith. Feisty little guard. He's a smaller version of Scott Styles. And a dunk inside by Edie off the pa uh, pass from Braden Smith. He is a good assist man. Averages seven a game, and he's got two already. Here's Josh Dix. Weaving his way through the lane, holds up right, high post right, leaves it for Perkins. 14 12 Iowa. Freeman drives the basketball at Edie, throws it to the corner, and a missed three by Ben Cricky gives Purdue the basketball back. Here's Smith all the way into the front court, leaves it for a trailing lawyer. He drives inside, threw up a wild shot in heavy traffic, no chance. Hawks get the rebound. Off the miss, Peyton Sanford. Shot fake, drives inside, shot up and good. Beautiful move by Peyton Sanford. The shot fake of the three throws everybody. Yeah, that's just a confident move by, by Peyton Sanford there. They, they're going to take away the three, so he drives under control and gets a soft floater from eight. Peyton with five. Mason Gillis with the basketball for the Bullemakers. Fletcher, lawyer, left wing. Morton, center of the floor. Back to Gillis, into Edie. Right of the lane, single covered. Throws up a hook shot, no good, and a foul called Crick. on Iowa. And that's two on Cricky. Or is it his first? First, I'm sorry. First on Cricky. Purdue is so quick to the basketball, and Cricky just shoved Lawyer in the middle of the back. That's too easy. Owen Freeman and Josh Dix come out of the game to Sonny Bowen. Hits the floor, as does Laji Dembele. We've got to have production from those two. Absolutely. Production from everybody against Purdue. Here's a lob into the big fella, Edie. Now back out on point to Smith. He's doubled in the corner. He's trapped in there. Gets out of it with a pass to Gillis. Now inside. Knocked away from Edie by Laji Dembele. Great play by Laji. Perkins shooting a three. Air ball in transition. Caught by Dembele. Put back no good. He threw it up there too strong. Anticipating Edie was going to come at him, and he did. 16-12 Iowa. We play on 12:55 to play first half. Here's Lawyer. Pull up jumper. Good man. Can he shoot? Yeah. Just inside the circle. That's a long two. And Lawyer's got five. 16-14 uh, Iowa in front of the Boilermakers by two. Here's Sanford. Spin dribble in the lane. Step back jumper is good. Now that is a confident shooter yeah, right there. Absolutely. Arms in his face. I'm going to take in spin and shoot a 15-footer over the top. 6-7 doing that. 
Peyton's on fire right now. Keep getting him the ball. Here's a jump shot by Smith. No good. Rebounded by Desante Bowen. Weak side. He beat Gillis to the loose ball. They were quick shooting. Braden Smith missed it. Cricky's open. Left baseline. Jumper in and out. No good. Edie with a rebound. Leaves it for Braden Smith. We're running the other way. What a pace. Oh, yeah. By these teams. Keep it up. You got to beat Purdue. You got to run them. Here's Braden Smith. High bounce with the left hand. Cross court to Gillis. He'll throw up a three. It's good. Mason Gillis throws in a three. Averages six points a game. Capable three-point shooter, though, Gary. He is 50% from distance. 18-17. That closes the Iowa lead to one. Scoop pass to Lodgy Dembella. Lodgy hands off to Peyton. Pulled up three. No good. Off the left of the iron. And now Purdue shoots for the three, or for the lead, with number three, Braden Smith on the rebound. He drives all the way into the paint. Now to the wing and Morton. Pull up jumper. Good. Well, Purdue's bench is producing. 19-18. Five in a row for the Boilermakers. 11-16 to play. First half. Here's Perkins to Sanford. Back out top for Desante Bowen, and he resets. Owen Freeman's going to come back in the game. Now Bowen has his a pocket picked and a run out by Morton. A layup, no good. Put back good by Smith, trailing the play. And now Purdue leads 21-18 off the Iowa turnover. 10-53 to play. Both teams need a blow, that's for sure. They're both gassed. The Hawks are a little bit weaker right now with the basketball. Here's Bowen near corner. A bounce right wing for Dembele. He lobs up a long jump shot. No good. And a foul called on Iowa over the back. Peyton Sanford hmm. going for the rebound. That'll be four team fouls on the Hawkeyes. 10-37 to play first half. Iowa down 21-18. Purdue on a 7-0 run. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Quickstar. You can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 with quick rewards at any quick star location. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packages throughout the season. Quick Star, proud partner of Hawkeye Basketball. This is Hawkeye Basketball, presented by Blue uh, Wellmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Back in Iowa City is Purdue 21, Iowa 18, midway through the first half. We've had a couple ties, a couple lead changes. The Hawks with the great start to the game. And now both teams are running at a frenetic pace, Bobby. They both needed a, this time out at 10.37 to play in the half. Yeah, they certainly did. But I love the way the Hawkeyes came out. And with their physical play, it's just getting after it. I mean, it, it's going to be a tall task here with Zach Eady. But uh, he, he's leading score for Purdue. He's got seven for the Hawkeyes. Two guys in double figure or, uh, with seven. Tony Perkins, Peyton Sandberg. But it's those rebound numbers, Gary, that are, are scaring me right now. 12 to 4 in favor of Purdue. Five of those on the offensive line. And both coaches talked about that in our pregame visit how important it was to rebound the basketball the Hawks came out and hit a bunch of shots early 
And they're fighting, no question. But with Edie, you're talking about a seven foot three, 300 pound rock, a mountaintop in there. And Purdue with a deep bench, a little fresher than Iowa right now. Fran's going to come back with uh, Owen Freeman as well as Brock Harding. Brock Harding, the freshman, the other freshman from Moline. Bowen stays on the floor, as does Dembele and Peyton Sanford. Purdue. I think this is Edie's first break, isn't it? Break, you bring, you bring yeah. in the big guy, Caleb, first, along with Gillis, and then the kid that's really produced from the redshirt freshman, Cameron Heidi, number 23. Purdue basketball after the Iowa foul. And so it's almost a new lineup on the floor. Camden Heidi, a freshman out of Wyzata, Minnesota. Hands off to Jones. Back to Heidi. They're looking for the big fella, Caleb Hurst, inside. He screens down for Gillis. Doesn't have a shot. Jones does and hits a three. Deep three. 24-18, Purdue. The run is 10-0. Their third three-point field goal made. Peyton Sanford running his man into a lot of screens. Can he get open? Now Freeman sets a screen for Desante Bowen. Purdue's biggest lead at six. And here's a wild pass by Dembele. Wide of Owen Freeman. Turnover, Iowa. And the Hawkeyes are in the midst of a tough stretch right now. They haven't scored in three minutes. Now you sprinkle in a couple turnovers, and it's a treacherous moment right now. Yeah, you got some young guys on the floor right there. Brock Harding and Elijah Dembele talking to each other. Brock's telling him, give me the basketball. I have a better angle to enter it in to Owen Freeman from the left side. Braden Smith, the six-foot sophomore, runs the show for the Boilermakers. Slides around Harding in a screen. Gillis is open for three. That looks good. Nope, off to the right side. Another offensive rebound by Purdue. Shot blocked by Peyton Sanford. He blocked down on the freshman Heidi. Hawks dodge one there. Harding back quickly. Here's Sanford driving hard right baseline. Bullet pass inside to Freeman. He's double teamed. Gets the shot wow. off. No good. Rebound tapped around. Ball. Controlled by Purdue. Here comes Jones all the way on Bowen. Throws up a wild shot. No good. Offensive rebound. Back up and in. 26-18. Boilermakers mauling the glass at both ends. Now Bowen loses the ball out of bounds. Knocked away from him. Get up in the air with nowhere to go. And he's fortunate that it touched a Boilermaker on the way out. Now Ben Pricky will come in for Lodgy Dembele. As Pricky has to come back in sooner than planned. Kaufman Wren returns immediately to guard Ben Pricky. Purdue on a 12-0 run with 9.04 to play first half. Here's a whistle and a holding foul on Purdue as the ball was being entered by Brock Harding. Trey Kaufman Rand uh, grabbing on to Ben Cricky. So we'll reload and go to the other side of the square, and Harding will get it in from there. Does so. Out top to his former high school classmate, Owen Freeman. Back to Harding, who's over guarded on the left by Braden Smith. Here's Cricky with a shot fake at the foul line, drives in, misses the jump shot, but gets fouled. He'll have two free throws. Third team fouled on Purdue. Iowa's been whistled for four, and they get Braden Smith with the grab. Two free throws for Ben Cricky. Iowa trying to hold a 12 nothing Purdue run. Good, 74 percent free thrower is Cricky. Good aggressive move that time by Ben Cricky, realizing the Hawkeye offense stagnating a little bit, and he just took matters into his own hand with that left hand and took the shorter Braden Smith to the hoop. Free throw miss. The first one off the front of the iron by. Ben, he'll get another as a proud sponsor of the Hawks. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Cricky misses both free throws. Ouch. Purdue with a board. Purdue with a lot of boards. Out rebounding the Hawks 17 to 6 right now. And here's Smith driving right around to Sade Bowen for an easy layup. Stop and go move, not once but twice, down the right side of the key, and Asante got his feet out of whack, and it's now 28-18. Wow, what a run by Purdue. 14-0 run. Fox just cannot find a score. Here's Tricky, little lobber in the lane, good. Nice pass by Harding, and a little floater from 10 feet away by Cricky. Hopefully gets the Hawks going, 28-20. Purdue stops that 14-0 run. Gary, give the Hawkeyes a little bit of momentum here. Now you got to build up on the defensive end. Get a stop. 
Smith guarded by Harding. Screen from Kaufman Wren. He gets the ball back. Jumper in the lane. No good. Offensive rebound. Put back is good by Caleb First. Hmm. Here's a catch by Owen Freeman in transition. Misses the layup. Harding with a nice pass. Owen just couldn't quite catch up to it. Had to flip it up there. It's a 10-point Purdue lead. 30-20 with 7.42 to play in the first half. This offensive rebounding killing the Hawkeyes right now. Here's Jones. A standstill three. Good. Right in front of the Iowa bench. And Purdue can smell blood in the water right oh, now. They're just, just cutting you up right now. And Braden Smith, the point guard, distributing. 33 to 20. Harding shot way off the mark. Didn't even draw iron. Going to his left. Purdue with a rebound. One and done. The Hawkeyes really struggling in the offensive end. Here's Smith and an offensive foul called uh, an illegal screen actually on Kaufman Wren as he threw a knee into Brock Harding who's a little gimpy. Well Josh Dix and Tony Perkins are going to return to the Iowa lineup when play resumes. The Hawks are already down 13 after leading by six early on in the game. It's 33-20 Purdue. Well the makers on a 19-2 run. 7.05 to go here in the first half. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by our friends at UIHC. March is a great time to schedule your vasectomy, guys. The expert urologists at UI Healthcare specialize in both standard and minimally invasive vasectomy procedures. This March, get benched and recover listening to the Hawks on the radio. Schedule your appointment now. Visit uihc.org slash appointment. This is Hawkeye basketball from Wellmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and Learfield. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Purdue's bench has outscored the Hawks 9-0. Purdue has uh, 20 rebounds to 6 for the Hawkeyes. And second chance points, Purdue 8, Iowa 2. Uh, as they've built the lead to 33-20 right now. And, uh, Bobby, it's easy to see why. Yeah, it, it's the rebounding, no doubt about it, Gary. But uh, you just got to keep keep grinding, man. Keep getting in there and try to get those boards, try to get some offensive rebounds on your own. But only 20 points for the Hawkeyes right now. You're at the 7.05 mark. Your offense has got to be better. You've got to get that fast break, get that thing going. But how you do that is rebound and uh, get some stops. So looks like we got the starters back on the floor with alongside Brock Harding. See if we can get some offense going, get some points here before halftime. Perkins and Dix, that's their role right now. Cricky, Brock Harding, and Owen Freeman. Peyton Sanford is on the on the bench with a well-deserved breather. 7.05 to go. Lots of time here yet in the first half for the Hawks to chop that lead down in a hurry. Perkins inbounds to Brock Harding after the foul called on Purdue. Four team fouls on each club. 6.59 to play. Harding. Hawks go to four in and Harding out. Freeman takes the dribble right at Edie. Shot blocked away by Edie. 
right to Fletcher Lawyer. And Purdue with the exchange of possession. Edie just swatted that away like a mosquito. High post left is uh, Caleb first out to Jones. He's open for three. Shot missed. Rebound loose on the floor. The ball loose on the floor and an undercutting foul is going to be called on Purdue. Heidi. Tony Perkins got there first and Heidi took his legs out from underneath. Yeah, good call. You don't see that call often made by referees. They let him scrap it out, but good call that time because Heidi did take his legs out from underneath him. Tony did. going to pick the ball up. Dix will then bound right in front of our broadcast spot here. Does so to Tony Perkins. Matt uh, Painter recognizing Toadie's danger with the ball in his hands sends a 6-7 Camden Heidi on him and now a foul called on Purdue as uh, Tony, Tony drove it in deep and that's on Heidi so he's picked up two with 6-21 to play in the first half 33-20 Tony Perkins will get a pair of free throws Tony made uh, his and one a little bit ago hits the first here at the gamer at home, folks, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmer is the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Heidi must sit down with those two personals. And Braden Smith comes back in. Second free throw good by a TP. Perkins in double figures. Or is he? Well, Tony's got the nine. Nine. Get Peyton close. Sanford back in the game. We need him to get hot. 33-22. Hopefully the two free throws are a start to a big run by the Hawks. 1-2-2, one, two, two, three-quarter court by the Hawks. They've been working on that in practice. To, uh, oh, Perkins deflects the pass out of bounds and it'll stay with Purdue. But Tony, very active. Uh, lawyers diagonal pass intended for Smith. Nearly a turnover. Purdue has 16 to shoot. Edie back in the game. Hawks going to go zone. Two three. And swarm around Zach Edie. He's got the ball. Turns and scores on Owen Freeman. Makes it look so easy with that bulk. 35-22 Purdue. 5.50 to play in the half. Give him nine points, Zach Edie. Perkins around a screen by Freeman. Takes it all the way in. Swatted away by Zach Edie. But right back to Tony Perkins who got it to Owen Freeman. And Owen, uh, uh, Edie was paying attention to Perkins. Owen gets the easy set in. That's good hustle by the Hawkeye. Just keep playing. They're going to block some shots, but you can't give up on the play. Tony found a way to get the ball to Owen for the hoop. 35-24 Purdue. Lawyers open for three and hits another one. Josh Dix late getting there on the switch. And Purdue's biggest lead now is at 14. 38-24. Here's Dix to Cricky. Pull up jumper. Good. Nice bounce pass by Josh. Found Cricky already in his shooting motion. He gathered it in and knocked it down. 12 point deficit for Iowa. 38 26. Five minutes to play first half. Jones scoops a pass inside to Edie. Now to first. Had the ball knocked away by Dix. They maintain it. Maintain possession. Jones forces up a long three. No good. Off the right of the iron. Rebounded by Perkins. Hawks with a rebound. Perkins with a run out. In transition. Peyton for three. Good. 38-29. Hawks get it back under 10. That's a start. At 10 points for Peyton Sanford. Hawks win this game. Peyton Sanford's got to be up over 20 points. 38-29. Purdue. Here's a whistle and a foul called on Iowa. Owen Freeman. High elbow. That's his second, so Owen will have to come out. He's he's a little frustrated right now. I get it. Oh, yeah. That's big man you're laying your body on, trying to do whatever you can to keep him out of the paint. First comes out of the game in favor of Mason Gillis. My road wins in the Big Ten are so critical, so crucial. I'm trying to deny Purdue that today. Fresh 20 on the shot clock. 38-29 Purdue. 4.20 to go. First half. Bodemakers moving that ball at every catch. Edie hands off and sets a screen for Smith. Gillis is open for three. Top of the circle. No good. Kicks long. Run down by Jones. Another free possession for Purdue. Smith drives around Tony Perkins. Gets in heavy traffic. Lobs it to Edie. Jump hook. No good. Strong rebound by Dembele. As he's going to the floor, he releases to Dix. Hawks get a stop. Now they need some points. Perkins, right baseline. Works the dribble into the lane. Throws wing on the wing to Dix. 
Boy, Purdue's respecting his shooting. They've watched tape from the last couple nights. Games. Here's Dix to Dembele. Jump shot. Good. Lodgy. Not afraid to shoot that freshman. Up over the top of the seven foot four mountain. Zach Eady. Lodgy. No hesitation there. Gets his first hoop. The Hawks pull within seven. 38 31. Purdue with the lead. Here's a steal by Perkins. Out of bounds to Iowa. Perkins stole the ball as Braden Smith tried to jump pass through heavy traffic. And Tony just reached in and peeled it away. And then the ball caromed off of Braden Smith out of bounds. 7 0 Iowa run. 325 to play in the half. 38 31 Purdue Boldermakers. Hawk fans, well marked. Blue Cross Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, every alley oop, every buzzer beater. And well Mark is here for every moment as well with trusted health care coverage. Committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. And now's your chance to make a difference. Join the swarm and partner with Iowa men's basketball in serving charities in eastern Iowa. The swarm. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Openall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeyes with a 7-0 run the last uh, minute 40 have cut a Purdue 14-point lead in half. It's 38-31. Welcome back to uh, Big Ten basketball at Carver with the Hawkeyes and the number two ranked Purdue Boldermakers. Iowa led by, I thought they had a six-pointer lead early. I may be off on that. 10-6 is what I've got. Four-point lead. 18, Eight minutes 14. into the game, and then Purdue went on a and that 18-14 score. Purdue went on a 14-0 run, get it to double digits. The Hawks have battled back behind Tony Perkins and Peyton Sanford. Peyton's got 10, Perkins nine. Owen Freeman's on the bench with two fouls. Ben Cricky has a half a dozen, and Lodgy Dembele's showing some uh, marked improvement. We well, always know about his going here offensively. Yes, indeed. We've always known about Lodgy's toughness and tenacity. He's got a couple rebounds and made a big jump shot a moment ago. And now the Hawks have turned Purdue over and have a chance to cut the deficit to five. Four turnovers on Iowa, or excuse me, four tur three turnovers on the Hawkeyes and uh, four on Purdue. Deflected pass is out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa. 3.16 to go till halftime and a 38-31 Purdue lead. Perkins harassed by Jones gives way for Cricky. Backdoor cut by Peyton Sanford ball though the pass is picked off. Peyton was open. Ben Cricky was a little late trying to get it there and four turnovers on Iowa now. Underestimated the length right there of Zach Eady with the steal. Here's Braden Smith dribbling into the near corner. Screened by Eady back to Eady and a dunk. Zach Eady hammers down single coverage by Ben Cricky. He's got 11, ED does. And Purdue back up 9, 40-31. Points off turnovers. Never good. Here's Dix. Josh has just not been able to free up. 
Baseline jumper by Lodgy Dembele, no good. And rebounded by Purdue. Boilermakers dominating the glass. Here's Jones with a baseline right drive. Lost the handle on the ball and a foul called on Ben Cricky. That guy, he had all ball. Looked like he punched it away from Edie. The out official made the call. The, out, the official standing out front. And I think you can tell by the replay that <laughs> that's exactly what Cricky did. Just tomahawked the ball away. 2.23 to go in the half, and Edie gives Iowa a 10-point lead with the first made free throw, 41-31. Uh, Jeffrey Anderson is over explaining to Fran what he saw. I think he told him he missed it. Yeah, well, that, that. <laughs> Mr. Obvious. Second free throw is short. Rebound to Dix. And now an immediate foul called on Purdue. That'll put Iowa at the foul line, the one and one. You get Mason Gillis with an elbow, a shove in the back. So the damage is limited one free throw by Edie. And now at the other end, Laji Dembele will shoot the one and one. Stay tuned for our halftime coverage. Brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bud Light. You'll hear from Dr. Tom Davis and Fran McCaffrey in their exchange they had the other night on Hawk Talk. Free throw is no good by Lodge. He's just at 38% on the year. So the Hawks come away empty again on a trip down the floor. 41-31 Purdue. Iowa needs some stops here with 2.10 to go in the first half. Here's Lawyer, sharp shooting guard. He throws it way over the head of everybody. I'm not sure where he was going. going. I, think, inside. I think Edie or Gillis was supposed to be cutting to the basket. And in the end, it's five turnovers on Purdue. His lawyer pitched it into the seats. And the Hawkeyes have a chance to get that deficit under 10 again with a minute 57 to go on the half. Perkins drives it into the near corner for Dix. Dembele out of Peyton Sanford. Peyton thought about a step back. Hands off to Perkins. And a illegal screen on Peyton Sanford. When he handed the ball off, he moved to second. Minute 45 to play in the half. Hawks cannot get anything going offensively, so Price Sanford will come in for Brother Peyton, who picks up his second foul. Evan Bronze checks into the game, too, for Cricky. Boy, this is uh, treacherous uh, waters right here. For the Hawks to hang on. Here's Jones. Fake the three, drives inside and misses the running jumper in the lane. Dembele rips the rebound away and then throws it away. Gillis with a steal. Gillis drives it in to uh, Edie. Jump shot up is good. Now actually make it a dunk. Just a little lob dunk. They just throw it up to the rim and they know that seven foot four man is going to be there. He's got 14 points. Turnovers lead to points. Perkins with the ball. Iowa down 12. Tony misses the jump shot. Edie with a rebound, and he's fouled by Lodgy Dembele. With 101 to go on the half. Uh, Purdue has everything in control right now. They're just methodical. Deep bench. Move the ball well. They really do move the ball well. Hawks had him. Uh, out of kilter in the first five, six, seven minutes. But since then, it's been all Purdue. That 14 0 run well, started by a Mason Gillis off the bench, three point field goal. Edie's free throw is good. And the Boilermakers, now up 13, can match their largest lead should Edie make this free throw. Edie with 15 points, six rebounds. And we're not to halftime. Second one on the way and right through. He is something special. Much the way Luca Garza was when he played here. Well, the makers back up uh, 14 with 55 seconds to go on the half. Perkins. Evan Bronze in front of Edie gets the ball now. Evan's looking for an outlet. Almost picked away from behind. Here's Dix. He's hardly gotten a shot off. Bronze. In the corner to Price Sanford, his three, good. It tucked its way down. Maybe that gets that young man going. 
He's been frustrated with his shooting of late, but that's a big start right there. Points off the bench right there for the Hawkeyes. Bryce Sanford, the freshman, comes in and knocks down a timely three-point field goal for the Hawks. 45-34. We may come back to that before the day's over. Let's hope. 26 seconds to play in the half, and Purdue is called a timeout. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Text again 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. And Hawk fans, Bud and Mary's a proud supporter of Hawkeye basketball. Bud and Mary's has the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. And getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit budandmary.com to learn more. I understand there's a, uh, a future uh, football <laughs> recruit in the audience today here in Iowa City. The big fellow that can help Iowa. Shore up that line. Yeah. yeah. We're not allowed to interview him because he's not signed yet, but we'll look forward to that the moment it happens. All right, Purdue for the final 23 seconds. Hawks need to toughen up here, football-wise mentality, defensively, and get a stop. They go into the locker room trailing by 11 at the break. Smith holding on to the basketball. 10 seconds to Lawyer. They're looking for the big guy. Lawyer drives in and scores on a layup. Beat Price Sanford off the switch and drove right around him and scored. Of course, everybody was paying attention to Edie. They were sagging in on him, and Fran McCaffrey uses the uh, timeout, the use it or lose it timeout with 4.1 to go, 47 seconds to play, or excuse me, 47-34 is the uh, score. Purdue with a 13-point lead on Iowa. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball. Hawkeye women wrestlers will be here tomorrow in Carver Hawkeye to face Life University in Missouri Valley College starting at 1.30. Now Life University is the 2024 NAIA National Duels Champ. They'll face Missouri Valley to open the duels and the Hawkeyes will wrestle Missouri Valley in the second duel at 2 p.m. and then close out the day uh, taking on Life at 2.30. Good luck to Coach Clarissa Chen and the Hawkeye women wrestlers. All right, the Hawks have to go 94 feet. Bright Price Sanford will inbound in the face of full court pressure. In it comes to Tony Perkins. Muscles his way across the line, and the three pointer at the buzzer is no good. Halftime, Purdue 47, Iowa 34. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 
At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Number two, Purdue flexing its muscles, uh, especially off the glass and particularly, in particular, off the offensive uh, square as they lead the Hawkeyes 47-34 at halftime. Uh, Bobby, it's hard not to notice uh, the rebounding numbers. It is. Yeah, they doubled up the Hawkeye. 26 uh, rebounds for Purdue, 13 for Iowa. Of the 26 rebounds, 10 of them are on the offensive end. Now, by the stats, they haven't scored a lot of points, just eight points off those 10 rebounds, but they gave them another possession. They gave what you call that extra possession in there, but yeah, the Hawks came out, fought early, and uh, just back Eady, too big, too strong inside, 16 points, six rebounds to lead Purdue. And those extra possessions you uh, mentioned uh, are a big reason why Purdue has 24 paint scores, 24 scores in the lane to 14 for Iowa. Stay with us. Uh, Tom Davis and Fran McCaffrey are going to talk about Fran breaking Dr. Tom's record uh, the other night at Minnesota. That's next here on the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. We're back after this. Purdue leading Iowa 47-34 at halftime. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Step into the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. This past Monday saw another milestone reached. Fran McCaffrey became Iowa's all-time winningest men's basketball coach with the victory at Minnesota in his 14th season. McCaffrey now has 272 wins, surpassing Tom Davis. On his weekly Hawk Talk program Wednesday, we hooked up coaches Davis and McCaffrey for a visit. Tom Davis was as gracious as always in congratulating McCaffrey on the achievement. I just think, Fran, that 
the way you coach and what you do uh, is so much fun to watch. And the fact that you and I have kind of similar histories looking back at our coaching trees and how we started and where we worked, uh, it means a lot to me to see the success you've had. Well, you go back to the days in uh, the Lehigh Valley. We both started there, and and uh, and I, you know, I loved your teams at uh, at Boston College. And you and I have talked. You know, it's a buddy of mine from Philadelphia that nobody gave a Division One scholarship to, except for you, Chris Foy. Then he ends up yeah. starting on your final eight team. Uh, and yeah. I, I'm, until this day, I, you know, I stay in touch with Chris. Uh, you know, we kind of grew up together in Philly. We were the same high school class. And then, of course, you know, remember when you were out at Stanford and then Iowa was fortunate enough to convince you to come back to the Midwest. And, uh, yeah. boy, did the, the University of Iowa and Iowa City benefit from, from that decision. Very nice, very nice of you to say. I, I, uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Iowa. Uh, when I left Stanford, I thought I was going to Houston to be the coach. And... My assistant coach, Bruce Pearl, ran into uh, a pretty famous former Iowa coach, and he convinced him to call me and change my plans. That Iowa coach that helped change Tom Davis' plans was Lute Olson. Coach Davis would go on to win 598 games over his career. Coach McCaffrey has 521 and counting. What a thrill it was to get uh, Coach Davis and Coach McCaffrey hooked up together on Hawk Talk. The other night, Fran now the all-time winningest coach in Iowa basketball history. Our halftime show courtesy of Bud Light continues in a minute with the Hy-Vee Halftime Stat Recap. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Lurfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Halftime Iowa trails Purdue, number two Purdue. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, this, this is a team, a Purdue team that can win it all. They've got all the ingredients, terrific guard play. They really move the basketball. And, of course, they have Zach Eady in the middle, and that's been the difference here in the first half. Rebounding and Zach Eady, 47-34 Boilermakers, who are 19 of 38 from the field, five threes in 12 attempts. The Hawks are 3 of 10 from distance and 14 of 31 overall, shooting 45% Purdue at an even 50%. The big story, rebounding. Purdue out-rebounded the Hawks 26-13 to with 10 offensive. But the Boilermakers have uh, 24 paint scores, many off those second-chance opportunities. Iowa's turned the ball over six times. Purdue, five. Led in scoring. Uh, the Hawks by uh, Peyton Sanford. Got a couple threes, four field goals, and 10 points. 
Nine points for Tony Perkins. He's played a terrific floor game with a couple of assists. Ben Cricky has six points. Owen Freeman uh, with four, but he's got two personals again. He and Cricky both with two fouls. And Peyton Sanford picked up his second uh, as we approached halftime. For Purdue, Zach Eady, the story, 16 points, six rebounds. Ten points for uh, sharp shooting guard uh, Fletcher Lawyer. He's got a pair of threes. And nobody else with more than six. Lance Jones has six for Purdue. Boilermakers uh, from the foul line are four of six. Iowa, three of six. That's our Latham Seeds, Latham High Tech Seeds. Charity Stripe recap. The Hawks have a diverse combination of talent. And at Latham High Tech Seeds, you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com. 47-34 at halftime. That is our high V halftime stat recap. Score big savings with the all new, totally free high V perks membership. More halftime courtesy of Bud Light in a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Hey everyone, Chef Brandon here. The Burger Shed features signature handcrafted burgers, real ice cream shakes, and machine shed classics you already know and love, like the award winning pork tenderloin and smoked turkey Reuben sandwiches. Plus, everyone's favorite dessert, the apple dumpling. With plenty of big screen TVs and several local beers on draft, Burger Shed is the perfect place to watch your favorite sports team on game day. And every day, burgers, beers, and a whole bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive, Altoona. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Second half about to start. Purdue leading Iowa 47-34. Hawks need a hot start like they did at the beginning of the game. Bobby Hansen has just come back from the tunnel in the Hawkeye locker room. You talked with who, Matt Gatons? Yeah, Matt uh, Gatons has got the scout on it, Garrett. He said the obvious thing is you look at the rebound numbers. I mean, look at that, 26-13. to 13. Uh, Edie is an immovable object in there, but everybody, all five guys have got to get in there and, and uh, rebound the basketball. Also, he said offensively, uh, they took some tough shots. So they got to, you know, work that offense a little bit more and uh, try to somehow get some easy baskets and continue to attack Edie inside. Matt's chat with Bobby Hansen, sponsored by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including our friends at Sinclair Tractor in Winfield. Hello, Mo, and the crew at Sinclair Tractor. Iowa's John Deere dealers, a proud supporter and sponsor of Iowa Hawkeye Athletics, including Hawkeye basketball. The other thing, Bobby, that stood out to me is Josh Dix got one shot off in the first yeah. half. Clearly, Matt Painter's. <laughs> A, a heck of a coach. Uh, whatever he's devised defensively is working. Yeah, he just has a guy that's attached to Josh Dix and just been right in his space. But you got to find a way. Josh has got to keep working, keep moving, kind of like uh, Peyton Sanford was earlier in the year. They're going to guard you. Yeah, that's a that's an honor. That's that's, that's a, a compliment. Given. It's a compliment to you. So you got to find a way to get open. Got to start with a stop, though. Purdue gets the ball as the second half is underway from Iowa City. 
47-34. Edie comes out, drifts out to the top of the circle with Freeman giving chase. Owen knocks the bounce pass away. Smith picks it back up. Lawyers open for three. It's short, no good. And Freeman tips the rebound to Perkins. There's one stop. Tony races to the other end, lays it up and in. He blew by you. Took off like a shot and gets Iowa a quick score in his first possession. We're going to need that by Tony Perkins all second half. Jones is open for three. No good. And a rebound by Perkins. And a foul called on e Perkins was locked up with Kaufman Wren. And they're going to get Tony for the grab. His first personal foul. Boy, Fran is mm, really upset. Kaufman Wren, who's 6'9", and Tony Perkins, 6'4". They were locked together, and they call Tony on the foul. Both guys hit the deck. 47-36. Purdue by 11 as we start the second half. And it comes to Lawyer. Kaufman Wren inside the ED. Shot up and good. Count it, and a foul call. On Owen Freeman. Second chance points. Mm. So Owen break. Freeman has picked up his third a minute into the uh, second half. And, you know, they're Purdue. They're going right after Owen, understanding his recent foul issues. So uh, Dembele replaces him and Zach Eady with the and one opportunity. Makes it. And the Boilermakers have matched their biggest lead of the day at 14. 50 to 36. Not quite a minute gone here in the second half. Edie now with 19. Perkins for Dembele. Here's Cricky. Back to Perkins. To Ben. Drives hard left. Left baseline shot up. No good. A foul call, Bill. Good shot fake by Cricky and Edie. Got enough contact over the top where Zach will shoot two free throws. All right, just the first foul on Edie. First one. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, he's he's special. He is special. A little moisture on the, the floor that they'll mop up. Gives me time to tell you and thank U.S. Cellular for their game day sponsorship today. Hawkeye Sports Properties and Iowa Athletics thank U.S. Cellular for its sponsorship, not only today, but throughout the football and basketball season. U.S. Cellular is built for the Hawks, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. Game days are made for Hawkeye Connections and Herky High Fives. U.S. Cellular, proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa's leading scorer, Ben Cricky, toes the line, makes the first and the second. Ben's got eight halfway to his 17-point average. And the Hawks pressure full court. Lawyer and Braden Smith are the guards. Jones... Kaufman, Wren, and Edie across the front line. Here's Purdue breaking the press, but the shot on Smith is blocked from behind, ripped away by Dembele. Good job by Iowa in the interior that time. Perkins comes back with a dribble. Roughed up by Jones. Keeps the dribble under cover. No whistle. We play on. 18.32 to play in the game. Perkins pop-up jumper in the lane. Good. That's the way to stick it to him. And right to him. He just kept his dribble alive. Used the screen and got to the free throw line area. And Zach Eady just kept uh, going backwards. And Tony over the top. Back-to-back -back baskets by the Hawkeyes. It's a 10-point lead for Purdue. 50-40. Eady holding the ball high above his head. Looks and hands off to Smith. He, looked, he got away with a walk. Smith did. Smith with a jump pass to Eady. Catches and dunks. They just throw it whenever they need an outlet, Gary. They just throw it right at the rim, and there he is. He, he had three guys around him. He was hemmed in. The TP was around him. And uh, Smith just threw it up there. And Edie went and got the ball and dunked it. More drippage. That's a, a simple game plan. Yeah. When you're in trouble, just throw, throw it up toward the rim. The rim. Yep. <laughs> got some condensation forming on the floor. And so they'll mop that up and we'll play on. Here are the Hawkeyes trailing 52-40 to the Boilermakers. 17-51 to play in the game. Edie's got all the points here in the second half. Two, three, got five. Well, he's certainly approaching his average. Let's put it that way. 
Here's Perkins. A screen from Dembele gets inside, high off the glass, and good. Went right at the big guy, Zach Eady. And Tony, I think, almost went over the square. He threw it up there so high. He's fighting, man. I love the fighting that kid right there. Young man from Indianapolis, Indiana, and he's taking it to Purdue. He's stoked against his home state. Here's a steal. Dix picks off a bounce pass. Two on one the other way. Josh in, block, shot blocked away from behind. A little late getting rid of the ball, and I think Kaufman Wren got it from behind. Here's Purdue running, and a blocking foul called on Laji Dembele as he got there late to get in uh, Jones' way. Lance Jones will shoot a pair of free throws. Hawks already have three team fouls here in the first two and a half minutes. That all started with the uh, block shot on Josh Dix at the other end. Been a frustrating afternoon for Josh. He's a, a marked man. And Jones will shoot two free throws. Makes the first. 53-42. Jones with seven points. 21 for Edie. 10 for Lawyer, the guard. Mr. Outside, Mr. Inside. Both free throws are good for Jones. 54-42, and the Hawks back down 12. Perkins is run into by Jones. And Lance Jones with a sarcastic smile on his face. Well, he got away with it for three minutes. He and Tony are both laughing now. That's well, two you, fouls on Jones. You're going to do what the referees allow you to do, Gary. Yeah, for sure. Good point. You got to adjust. And Jones will, at least for the moment. Screened by Peyton. Peyton now gets the ball back. His three is no good. And the ball out of, out of bounds. No, didn't go out of bounds. Great save by Jones. It was deflected off a of Boilermaker, but Jones, with great effort, saved the possession for Purdue. 54-42, Boilermakers. Here's Jones, drives right inside, misses the shot. Edie with a rebound and a foul from behind mm. on Iowa. I mean, when the guy pins himself inside around that rim, there's no getting around him, yeah. over him, can't or in front him. of him. You can't move him. You know, most of the time you can move a guy if you're a similar size than that, but this guy's so big and 300 pounds, it's just like moving a boulder. So Edie's back at the line for two more. And the free throw is good. He's been to the foul line a lot. Five for seven is Zach Eady. 22 total points. Now six for eight. 22 points, eight rebounds. One turnover. One foul. Second one good. That's how you win a national championship with a guy like him in the middle. And surround him with the talent that Matt Pater has. He's certainly got a chance, Gary. The shooters outside can continue to make shots in the hustle plays as he get off the bench. Purdue back up 14. Here's a foul on Edie. Good call there by the bench. Fran, they spread they spread things out. Edie was alone in the lane. Tony went at him, and Zach crowded him and gets called for his second personal. Perkins to shoot two. Tony with 15 points leading Iowa in scoring today and has made all three of his free throws. First one takes flight and misses. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by the Iowa Lottery and the Iowa Lottery VIP Club. Enter to win game day tickets to see Iowa men's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. You could be sitting here. Compliments of the Iowa Lottery. Play Hawkeye gold scratch tickets today. 16-27 to go in the game. Perkins makes one of two and now a wild pass by Lance Jones. Gets away from Braden Smith, and the Hawks hope to take advantage of the Boilermakers' seventh turnover of the day. That's a stop right there, Gary. You're going to have to have consecutive stops uh, to, to get back in this basketball game here and make some shots and another stoppage for a wipe-up. Hawks 3 of 11, Bobby, from distance. That, that's got to improve. If they uh, need 8 to 10. I mean, Nebraska drilled 14 against him. And Lincoln a couple weeks back, and I'm sure they've studied that tape. Continue to mop up some of that condensation at three-quarter court. Now we're ready to go. Peyton Sanford will inbound. Does so to Tony Perkins. And back to Peyton. Lawyer giving chase. Here's Josh Dix to Tony. Then Belly sets a screen for Perkins. Back to Peyton. Now to Tony. Tony gets around Jones. Jumper in the lane is good. Hey, we'll take the two. Yep. Trying. I thought they're giving you. 
They're covering up that three-point line. Tony Perkins now 18 for the Hawks. This is as hard as I've seen Tony work this year. He, he knows he's playing against his home state. Had the great game in the title, conference title game against Purdue a couple of years ago. Purdue, here's a pass knocked away from Edie, but uh, Edie got a hand on it and tipped it. Now Dembele deflects it away again from the big fella, and Iowa comes up with a steal. Sanford for three, well short. Rebounded by Dembele. Nope. Ripped away. Here comes Smith. Back for Purdue. All the way to the rim. Now backs to dribble out. Left baseline. Now he's open from three. Dembele closes out. Kaufman Wren right back into Edie. Lawyers open on the wing. 15 to shoot, 15 21 to play in the game. And a three is good from Braden Smith, left wing. They just find a way to gut you just when you think uh, the Hawks are on a run here after back to back stops. Selfless basketball right there. That is passing up shots to find a wide open Braden Smith, left corner for the three. Perkins again gets left of the lane, jump shot, no good. And Purdue with a rebound and a run out, leading by 14. Smith can feel it. Throws up another three. Edie over the top of Dembele. Grabs the rebound. No call. Here's Smith in the lane. And a bounce pass gets away from Purdue. Smith grays Zach Edie with that bounce pass. And out of bounds it goes. Turnover Purdue, Iowa basketball when we come back. 59-45. Every time the Hawks threaten... A mini run or a run of any kind, Purdue has slammed the door shut. Fans, when the going gets tough, the tough crush the competition. The new Honda lineup has powerhouses like HRV, CRV, Passport, and Pilot. So get going to your central Midwest Honda dealer this winter. Visit great dealers with great deals like Smart Honda of Davenport. And tell TJ Deer we said hi from the Hawkeye Radio Network. Purdue still up by 14 with 14.46 to go in the game. When is that Iowa run coming? We hope when we return. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark. Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau. But depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Hey, folks, this is Jeff Brender from The Machine Shed. We're all about comfort food at The Machine Shed. Indulge in our classic fried chicken, which is prepared with our own secret spices. Our try our cattleman sirloin tips. Featuring certified Angus beef, served with our famous mushroom stuffing that has onions and Swiss cheese, all topped with a garlic herb sauce. Come experience the taste of home cooking at the Machine Shed. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Welcome back to Hawkeye Basketball. Iowa trailing second rank Purdue 59-45. And for good reason, 33-15. to The Boilermakers have out-rebounded the Hawks by 18 with 13 offensive boards. They have nine more second-chance points and 28 paint scores. 28 lane scores for the Boilermakers. And you know where I'm going with this. To Zach Eady. He is uh, everybody's All-American. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, they get it into the big guy, even in heavy traffic, when the Hawks have him surrounded. And somehow with those long, that long reach, he grabs it, and the rest is usually automatic. Yep. The ultimate outlet. Ultimate outlet. I like that. But Iowa's within range, 14 points down with 14.46 to play. And, of course, some serious foul trouble with Owen Freeman on the bench with three. Ben Cricky is back in the game. He's got two. Sanford has two. Dembele's logging some heavy minutes today. Cricky with a jump hook in the lane, no good. Edie changed that shot. You can see Ben over loop it. 
to try and get it over the top of the seven foot three Edie to no avail. Purdue with a rebound. 14 25 to play. 59 45. Boldermakers. Back in the far corner is Braden Smith. Dribbling around. Now finds Edie. Open left of the lane. Tony Perkins is uh, trying to keep Edie away from the basket. Shot from the wing is no good by Morton. Ethan Morton and Iowa gets the rebound. Josh Dix into the front court. He's taken two shots today. They've identified him. Here's Cricky. Slides into the paint. Shot up. No good. Again, put it up too strong. That's just anticipating Edie blocking it or at least getting a piece of it. But he does change shots. No question. In the corner, it's Lawyer. Smith, who hit a big three a moment ago. There's a foul called on Iowa. Dembele trying to get position. He's fighting him, Gary. Yep. He is fighting with all he's got. Three fouls. And Lodgy picks up his third. So the, the true freshman commits Iowa's fourth team foul. It'll be side out for the Boilermakers. Caleb First will come and get uh, Zach Eady, who's earned a respite. First is 6'10". Oh, it's a double foul. In third. Well, that should keep him on the bench a little longer. Here's a corner three by Gillis, and it's good. Well, what do you do? And I mean, he had a wide open look. Yeah, the Hawks got sleeping that time and napping a little bit. 17-point uh, lead now, but right now you've got to start. You've got to continue to attack the basket with Edie out of the game. Seven threes. Now seven hurt. threes by Purdue, and now Laji Dembele is crumpled on the floor. Mm. He went up high to try and catch that pass, and when he came down, the leg gave out. Yeah, the leg gave out. Let's hope it's... Uh, Nothing more than an ankle sprain, but he is in a lot of pain. Trainer Brad Floyd is out there. Yeah, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Playing hard. He's banging bodies with uh, Caleb First in there. Caleb First at 6'10. Lodgy trying to get up to his feet now. There you go. Might have been just a. Left knee. Yeah, it might have been a, a sprain or a stretch. Your buddy Riley Mulvey goes out to help help him off the floor with Brad Floyd. Elagi's played hard. He's given away five inches and a lot of weight to Edie, so they finally get Edie out with his third foul. And Dembele checks to the bench or to the locker room or, or to the medical room. They'll test that knee out and hopefully it's okay but you're right Bobby it's his left knee it'll be Purdue basketball after the exchange of possession with 13 20 to go in the game and Purdue up 17 62 45 it's been a much more competitive game than it was in in uh, West Lafayette to start the Big Ten season the Hawks lost by 21 there but trailed by 35 at one point not today they've been battling but Edie's been the difference maker again, at least to this point. So if the Hawks can get another stop here, hopefully they can get a run going. Smith around a screen by first, throws it to first. Out on the wing to Mason Gillis. He's got a couple threes, well-timed threes. Here's Lawyer, fires up a shot, then hits the deck, and down it goes. Dix couldn't play any better defense, and the shots are going in for the Boilermakers. Freeman back in the game. Here's Dix for three. Finally hits one. Gosh, Dix. Maybe that fires him off. 64-48 Purdue. 12.46 to play. Took a while to get there. About the 12.50 mark. Josh Dix finally freed himself up for the long three. We need about eight more. Here's Smith around. Perkins lost the ball. Freeman picks it up. Hawks are running the other way. Perkins from Peyton Sanford. Perkins all the way in to Sanford on the wing. His three is good. Back-to-back -back threes. Purdue lead is 13, 64-51. Yeah, that's a big six-point swing right there for the Hawkeyes and got the crowd back into the game, Gary. Caleb first at 6'10", drifts to the wing, has the pass. Gillis, Morton, back to first. There's Lawyer turning the corner, drives in deep, turns, bounces to first. He muscles one up over Freeman. No good, he missed a shot. Freeman tips the rebound to Cricky. 
Hawks have a chance for an 8-0 run with a basket here. Perkins, stop and go move. Heads left baseline. Now reverses to the wing in front of the Iowa bench. Goes inside. Throws to Cricky. 17 fade away. Jump shot good. Then Matt Painter may want to get a timeout here. 64-53. Eight quick ones for the Hawkeyes. And Matt knows we're at the under-12 timeout, so we're going to play on. Smith back. The crowd on its feet. Here's Smith. Shot fake. Throws to the wing. To Lawyer. Lawyer gets inside. Nowhere to go with the ball. Has it knocked away and out of bounds by Peyton Sanford. Trying to force a pass to the corner and Ethan Morton. And the Iowa defense has found its sink for the moment. They really have, Gary. It was 64-45 after the Lawyer jumper. And then it was back-to-back three. Josh Dix, Peyton Sanford, and then a two by Cricky. 8-0 run. And still 11-23 to play. Don't go anywhere. They're playing for their fallen teammate, Lodgy Dembele, right now. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Wellmark. The exciting moments, proud moments, even the hard moments. And there have been a few today. Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion, making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind, no matter what comes your way. Find the plan right for you at wellmark.com slash hoops. We return for the Hawkeye comeback in just a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield in Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. Hawks roaring back with an 8-0 run. Trail Purdue 64-53 with 11.23 to play in the game. Elsewhere on the U.S. Bank scoreboard, Ohio State uh, defeated Penn State in Columbus 79-67. Nebraska has an 11-point lead on Northwestern out in Lincoln early on second half. Iowa State by 11 at TCU. It's the 24th-ranked Cyclones 44, number 19 TCU 33 early in the second half. Other finals, Texas beat Baylor by two. Marquette squeaked out a one-point win over St. John's. 18th-ranked Creighton in three overtimes outlast Seton Hall, 97-94. Oklahoma a winner, Dayton, number 21 Dayton a winner as well. The NFL Divisional Playoffs this afternoon at 3.30. It's the Texans, Houston at Baltimore. And tonight the Packers are in the Bay Area taking on the 49ers. That's their... U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Look at the stats here. Second half, uh, in particular, the Hawkeyes shooting 54%. 7 out of 13 and made 2 out of 4. Three-point field goals. They've held uh, Purdue to just 41% here. Second half, 5 of 12. So the Hawks have back, got, found themselves back in the game. Now you got to get some stops in a row. Lance Jones to inbound for Purdue. Boy, Sanford gets shoved to the floor. A three ball by, by the big fella. Camp, Camden Heidi, no good. Put back attempt, no good by Zach Eady. He misses the dunk attempt. He's back out there with three fouls, but Purdue gets another offensive rebound. That thing shot out like a volcano. Here's a three good by Lance Jones. Purdue with four cracks in the offensive end. That's what makes them so difficult. 67-53, Boilermakers back up 14. That ends the 8-0 Iowa run. 
Hawks got to start a new one. Dix. Jump passes to Owen Freeman. Now Peyton Sanford. Pull up three. No good, but he'll get three free throws. And the foul is on Camden Heidi. Shoots it so quick there. Got a quick release, quick trigger for Peyton Sanford. That's how he got that trip to the free throw line as Cameron Heidi couldn't put the brakes on. So the good news here, Peyton gets three free throws at 88% on the year with no time coming off the clock. 10.43 to play, and the Hawks need all of them. Sanford with 14 points. He makes the first. When nothing goes better with Hawkeye Sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's hot dogs and sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawks. And Iowa basketball is presented by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Peyton makes the first two and the third. 16 for the junior from Waukee. Iowa back to within 11. 10.40 to go in the game. Jones beats Dix across the timeline. Hooks a pass inside to Edie. Now to a cutting forward, and Wren knocks it down with a jump hook. Zach Edie had three Hawks around him, and that freed up Trey Kaufman Wren for the little short jumper in the lane. 69-56. What they do, Gary, when the double team comes, and one guy, the big guy, right to the front of the rim, and Zach knows where he's at. Perkins, pop-up jumper, good in the lane. Tony's having his way with the two guards right now. Perkins with 20. And the Hawks are again down by only 11 with 10.06 to play. Offensively carrying this basketball team on his back. Smith, pass fake now to Wren inside to Edie. They single cover him, and he turns and dunks over Owen Freeman. Nothing Owen can do. Purdue back by 13. Cricky has the ball in the near corner. Now to Dix. He's been harassed by Braden Smith all day. A screen by Owen Freeman freed to Josh up for a moment. Freeman comes, sets in another screen. Now Dix gets inside. Wraparound pass. Layup good by Owen Freeman. Pretty play by Dix. Pretty play on both ends, really. It was. It's patient offense that time. And the dribble drive by Josh Dix with the left hand drew Zach Eady over to him. And Owen Freeman took the space up, caught the pass in traffic, and laid it in. Hawks can't continue to trade baskets, though, with Purdue. 9-16 to go. Bullemakers by 11. Here's Heidi. Inside to Zach Eady. Oh, he walked with it. No call. Three ball on the way. No good. Rebounded by Peyton Sanford. So no damage on that trip. Sanford with a strong rebound. Perkins back into the lane. Hits a cutting cricky. Pull up jumper. No good. Owen Freeman with a rebound and a foul called. And it's going to be on Owen. Number four. As he fouled Kaufman Wren from behind. Wren still down on the floor. Freeman. Picks up his fourth personal foul. Freeman was underneath the basket behind Wren when he went up for that rebound off the miss by Cricky. And uh, Kaufman Wren still down on the floor. Looks like he's left ankle. An ankle or a hamstring almost. He, I thought he was grabbing up around his thigh. A lot of physical play, a lot of injuries. Oh, man, they've they been bodies on the floor all day. Freeman is out. Evan Bronze comes in, and Kaufman Wren gets to his feet. I'll tell you what, when I mean, Wren is 6'9", 230 pounds. When those guys hit the deck, it's hard. Dembele went to the locker room earlier in the half where it looked like a left knee, and now Wren is going to head up the tunnel. Matt Painter will have to... Bring a substitute into the game for him. I put much weight on that thing. Big Ten basketball, 8.55 to play. It's 71-60 Purdue. Hawks had a chance to get the deficit under 10, but we'll have to get another stop. Mason Gillis returns for the Boilermakers. Hawks playing much better defense here in this last five-minute stretch. Braden Smith. Trots across the midcourt stripe. Perkins right in his gun sight. Gillis screens him off. Smith pulls up for a shot, and it's good. Is it just me, or does this guy always hurt the Hawkeyes? 
A couple with, of years, yeah, the sophomore. He just plays under control, Gary. Very calculated that time, working against the zone, waited for the screen to come, and popped in the jumper. Nine points, eight assists on the day for Braden Smith. Cricky, high post left. Now to Dix. Josh splashed down a three earlier. Around Edie, gets to the basket, lays it up and in. They're going to come out and cover you on the rim, or on the perimeter, drive right by him to the rim, and that's what Zach did. That's what we need Josh, Dix, Josh to do. Yeah, absolutely. Josh Dix now, a couple of baskets here, second half. Again, an 11-point game, 73-62. We go under eight minutes to play in the game. Gillis looking for the big guy, Edie, inside. Hawks have him covered up in Evan Bronze. Here's a drive inside, a shot up by a cutting forward is no good but a rebound put back is no good a foul called Edie another offensive rebound as he got the miss of Camden Heidi yeah uh, it's so big you just got to keep plugging along here Gary plenty of time 750 to go Hawks down by 11 we'll go to a timeout but the kids are battling they are battling for sure Edie will shoot his 10th free throw wow when we come back 73 62 Purdue with an 11 point lead on the Iowa Hawkeyes throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk series. Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, a salute to all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook and learn how corn grows Iowa. We'd like to grow some Zach Eadies with Iowa Corn's help. For the moment, it's 73-62, Purdue, 7.50 to play. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. The Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Hawks are trailing uh, Purdue 73-62, just under eight minutes to go. Lots of time yet, but the Hawks uh, have been trading baskets with the Boilermakers keeps coming back we keep coming back Bobby keeps coming back to the rebounding numbers and uh, uh, Purdue is flexing its muscles which I know coach McCaffrey was concerned about uh, in the pregame show yeah everybody you talk to is like, that's the number one key is you got to rebound the basketball and it just that's easier said than done offensively uh, Zach Eady seven offensive rebounds as a team they have 16 offensive rebounds four of them off the bench Cameron Heidi they just go after the basketball but nothing you can do in the past Gary you just got to keep plugging and moving forward and get some defensive stops and drain some threes here Peyton Sanford Josh Dick Tony Perkins Zach Eady tries to drain two free throws 7-3 national player of the year a season ago and he's showing why 25 points 11 rebounds misses the first free throw He's 9 of 13 from the field and 7 of 10 from the foul line. Playing with three fouls, but Matt Painter going to leave him in. Second free throw is good. I mean, as often as he goes to the foul line, he should be a good free throw shooter. Yeah. He, he gets a lot of practice. As you often say, big men that can shoot free throws are valuable. Oh, man. Invaluable indeed. 
73-74-62. Hawks can get it to 10 or 9 with a Sanford 3. Strong. Iowa gets the offensive board. Perkins drives in. Scores with the left hand. Tony with a weak side rebound. Went right around three defenders. And he is playing possessed right now, Bobby. 22 points for Tony Perkins. 9 of 15 from the floor. Five rebounds, four assists. Hawks down 10, 74-64. Baseline right is Smith. A bounce to Edie. Double teamed. Back to Smith. Out top to Lawyer. Right back into Edie. Shot up and good. Over Ben Cricky, who's giving away, I don't know, six, seven yeah, inches. He's, he's trying. He and he and Bronze were both flying at him and to no avail. 76-64. Purdue. Perkins, a screen from Bronze. Tony, a stop and go move in the lane. Shot blocked and taken away by Edie. Edie finally got one of Tony's. And Purdue with the ball on a 12-point lead. 6.40 to go in the game. Lance Jones. Again, right of the lane to Edie. Braun shoves him out of the way. That leaves Lawyer open on the wing for a three. No good. Offensive rebound, Mason Gillis. Another possession for the Boilermakers. 6.27 to go. It hurts, man. It puts you back on the defense. Killer. Yeah, killer. Right back into Edie. Muscles his way through. Misses the shot, but a foul on Bronze. Evan Bronze picks up his second. Both teams. Check that. Purdue has just five team fouls. Iowa commits its eighth. But two free throws again coming for Zach Edie. 76-64 Purdue. Free throw is good. 77-64 Boilermakers. Purdue used a 14-0 run midway through the first half. With Iowa up four to get the lead to 10. And the closest the Hawks have been since was 38-31. Memory serves me correct. Seven early in the second half. Edie misses the second free throw. Now the Hawks are down... 13 with six minutes to go. Here's a blocking foul called on Lance Jones. He got underneath Tony Perkins. Looked like Tony got an elbow out there, but by then the foul had been called. Three fouls on Jones. Now the Hawks are home again Wednesday night. Six o'clock start with Maryland. Pre-game coverage at five. We'd love to see you out here. Great crowd today at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Six team fouls on Purdue, so the Hawks will inbound from near their own bench. Peyton Sanford does so to Josh Dix. Dix harassed by Smith all day. Dix holds up high post right. Step back jumper, good. The shot fake, lost a defender, and he drains the 17-footer. Calmly drains the seven-footer. He's got seven points now, all coming here in the second half. Time to heat up, Josh. Again, the Hawks trail by 11. Dix, Dix is a guy who gets you back in the game in a hurry. Here's Edie with a feed to the wing. Smith drives in, high post right, step back jumper, no good. Rebound Sanford. Sanford blazes up the near sideline. Across the midcourt stripe. Holds up, leaves it for Perkins. Basket here, and the Hawks can get back to within single digits. Shot by Perkins, fourth shot over the top of Edie, no good. Tony's gas. Yeah, Edie really misdirected that shot there as he's done so often. 77-66, Purdue slows things down. 5-12 to go. Here's Smith to Lawyer. Inside Edie, and he's fouled hard by either Perkins or Evan Bronze. They're going to get Tony. 5-06 to go. And free throws coming again for Edie. Zach Edie has wore out a path to the foul line this day. He's shot 13 free throws, made nine. Yeah, it's not just Iowa, Gary. Oh, it's everybody. When I look at the box scores, he, he's always at the line more than 10 times. Those free throws are guard. no good. He's getting tired. He's arm weary. He's shot so many free throws. Hey, it's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh, everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. Zach hits the second one. 80 now with 30. 30 and even 30. I was going to say 29, but that gives him 30. 10 made free throws, 10 made field goals. Ho hum. Perkins for Dix. The Hawkeyes are down 12, 78 66. On the perimeter is Josh Dix. Edie's got him on the switch, drives in deep, hits a cutting Perkins, layup good. 
Tony Perkins with the score. Josh Dix with the creation. 10-point game, 78-68, but stops are needed from here on out. 4.30 to play. Crowd on its feet again. Great effort by the Hawks today. Will it be enough? Here's a poke away, a steal by Peyton Stanford. Poked it to Dix. And Dix is fouled by Braden Smith. 4.22 to go. And that will put Iowa at the foul line for the one and one. And a good foul shooter going to the line, Josh Dix. But you were exactly right, Gary. Needed to stop Peyton Sanford. Josh Dix with a double team there and a poke away. Josh gets the steal. Hawks have shut Purdue out from the field in the last 244. Their only points coming on Zach Eady free throws. And Josh Dix, who's converted at an 88% clip, is at the line for a huge one and one. Free throw, mm, good. <laughs> Bounced high. Thing hit the back of the iron and skydived back into the basket from about six or seven feet. We'll take it. Absolutely. Second one's a lot easier, isn't it? Josh got nine. Here they come. The crowd's back in it. 78-70, Purdue. Four nineteen to play. Smith works the dribble in. On Perkins. Now to Lance Jones. He's grabbed by Peyton Sanford. 12 to shoot, 406 to play in the game. Smith turns, shoots, he misses. Edie with another rebound. Purdue with another possession. Edie the wing to Gillis, right back inside to Zach. Here's a wide open look and another missed shot. Rebounded by Lance Jones. Oh, you gotta block him out. Edie, Smith. Jones for three. No good. Edie over the back of That's Tony Perkins and no call. Now a near steal on Dix. He, he saves the possession. Ahead to Tony Perkins. Perkins to Ben Cricky in the corner. Basket here by the Hawks. And it's game on. Fran McCaffrey wants him to spread the floor. Sanford for three. No good off the right of the iron. Zidi with a rebound. 320 to go. Had a chance right there. 78-70, Purdue. A long three by Lawyer, no good. Rebounded Sanford. I don't know what that, where that shot came from. Here's Perkins to Sanford, into the corner to Cricky. Then spins in on a smaller Mason Gillis. Turns, leans, no shot. Sanford to Tony Perkins on the wing. 14 to shoot for the Hawks. Here's a step backer by Dix, no good. Hawks can't get a conversion when they need it most. Both teams need a blow, and Purdue will call timeout. 2.44 to go. 78-70. Hawks had two looks, two clean looks in the offensive end, but couldn't convert. Guys, but laying it out on the line, Gary. Look at Purdue. 0 for the last six, one out of the last eight. Iowa just can't get anything easy to drop it. Watch it again. This was a timely timeout needed right yeah, here. Yeah, they all need oxygen tanks right now. Timeout on the floor, 78-70. Iowa trailing the number two ranked Boilermakers. Hey, don't settle for ordinary with your company's apparel. Say hello to a new standard of style known as authentic brand. It's not just a label. It's a lifestyle from sleek office essentials to laid back everyday wear. Authentic brand is a label for you. It is for Bobby and I. We're wearing our authentic brand from Authentic in Perry, Iowa. Perry Strong Authentic Brand. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield in Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. 
schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Director's Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season. You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Director's Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Director's Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Director's Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Purdue holding on against the Hawkeyes with 2.43 to go in the game at Carver Hawkeye Arena with a big, big crowd on hand uh, today. It's great to see. The building has not been hopping like this uh, in some time, and a lot of that has to do with the Hawkeyes. A great heart, great effort, and obviously playing the number two ranked team in the country. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. Bobby uh, Hanson, stretch time. You've been in many games like this. Down 8, 243 to go. Purdue basketball. Hawks need a stop. I don't want to overstate the obvious, but that would be a good start. Yeah, 24 seconds on the shot clock for Purdue. They will inbound the ball right in front of their bench, and the Hawkeyes get the starters uh, with uh, DeSante Bowen in there for the stretch run. Let's see what Matt Painter has dialed up. Ooh, that looked like he stepped on the timeline, and they might have missed an over and back. Hawks are really pressuring man-to-man. Here's Gillis, center court, jump circle. Lawyer, a drop-down pass to Edie. Muscles in on Peyton Sanford. Misses the jump hook. Rebounded by Freeman. Great defense by Peyton Sanford. Muscling it up with Zach Edie. Hawks basket here, and they're within six. 2.14 to go. Purdue looking for the stop. Here's Perkins. Left wing Sanford, 4-3, no good, in and out. Boy, it took a good look Rimmed inside around. the cylinder and hopped back out. So the Hawks have to get another stop, and time definitely an issue now. Down eight with two minutes to go. Boilermaker spread the floor. Gillis pressured by Cricky. Edie comes out, accepts the pass at the top of the ring. Here's Lawyer, thought about a three, eight to shoot. Gillis, left wing, Smith inside to Edie. He's doubled, three to shoot. Jones will let fly with a three at the buzzer and hits it. Killer. Game, Absolute killer. Game set match there, baby. Hawks misfire at their end, and Jones, as the shot clock is about to expire, nails a three. Third three-point field goal in a row for Lance Jones to transfer. Nine threes for Purdue on the day, five for the Hawkeyes. Timeout on the floor. The Hawks are down 81-70 with a minute 31 to play in the game as they check uh, the review to make sure it was a three. I thought clearly it was a three. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corngrowsiowa. Iowa. 
Hawkeyes in peril now, trailing 81-70 to Purdue. With a minute 34 to play, they've reset the clock to 134. They reviewed to make sure that uh, uh, Jones' shot was a, a three. It, clearly it was, but, you know, if you're out of position and you miss it, it always, uh, especially in a game like this, double-check it. And all plays under review this season are sponsored by Atletico. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Atletico. Fox will be home be four, four home games and five dates on Wednesday night with uh, the Maryland Terrapins. Always a feisty matchup when the Hawks and the Terps get together. Uh, if you're planning on attending that game, more than 100 parking spaces from lot 75 north and 75 south are now unavailable due to utilities preparation work in support of the future water tower. But public parking for all events still available in lot 52, 43, 65, ramp 3, and the Newton Road ramp. If you're coming to Maryland on Wednesday night, Hawks need to score in a hurry. And here's a swipe by Lawyer as he uh, swiped the ball away from Peyton Sanford, who chased it into the backcourt, flopped on it, and then called timeout. Right thing to do with a minute 19 to play. So remember, Hawk fans, if you're coming Wednesday night, lots 75 north and 75 south are now unavailable, but plenty of parking in other lots, even with that snow piled high. So there's time out on the floor with Iowa still trailing by 11 with a minute 19 to go. If you're looking for bigger, bolder, better yields, FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit FS Seed. That's FSC.com and learn more. Got to score every possession now, buddy boy. Pretty much. Got to go quick, too, Gary. Just a minute left. 12 on the shot clock. Perkins takes the dribble right wing. Runs into an Owen Freeman screen. Here's Cricky left baseline. He's trapped in the lane by Edie. Shot up no good by Perkins as he got the ball uh, to Tony. Cricky did, and Zach Edie not only changed Tony's shot, but cleared the rebound out. Another double-double for Edie. 30 points, 16 rebounds, and a foul called on Iowa with 53.5 to play, and Purdue up 11. Man. Good portion of this great crowd starts to head out into the Saturday afternoon sun. Two free throws coming for Lance Jones. What a find he's been from Southern Illinois. Well, he really has been. Yeah, he's been very productive this year for Matt Painter. He kind of fits in right exactly what they need. They got the two little guards, and he's kind of a junkyard dog type of player that kind of does the dirty work with the ability to hit threes. Purdue has nine threes and 26 attempts. The Hawks are just five of 17. Jones misses the first free throw, makes the second. He's got 15 points. Good balance again by the Boilermakers. Tony Perkins quickly in the oh, front court. Oh, my goodness. And a blocking foul called on Purdue. They're going to get collision. Fletcher. Fletcher Lawyer got knocked into next week by Tony Perkins. And apparently Fletcher got there. A little late to try and take the charge. Well, he took a charge, but he got called. He's got a smile on his face. He's okay. Bud and Mary's has the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. And getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com to learn more. Tony misses the front end of the one-on-one. -on -one. Purdue with another rebound. 49 rebounds for Purdue, 24 for the Hawkeyes. That basically says it all. And 16, 16 by uh, 17 rebounds now by Zach Eady. Jones is back at the free throw line with Purdue up 82-70 and 41 seconds to play. He's got that solid base underneath him, does Zach Eady, and you can bump him and be physical Great balance. With him. Just doesn't affect him too much. 
I mean, the Hawks have been running bodies into him all day, and he just stands there. Second free throw good. Dolph, he's a dark-haired Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> stands there with his guns a-blazing. Got to be a spot in the NBA for a guy like that. You would think he'd get drafted. Here's Dix with a full-up jumper. No good, a little strong. And Edie with his 18th rebound. Hmm. 24 seconds to go, and that'll be it. Fran uh, yells out, no fouls. Impressive win by Purdue. They took Iowa's best shot. Yeah. No doubt about that. Right from the beginning, kids played hard. The Hawkeyes went at them and tried to be physical, but it's just too much Zach Edie. 84-70 the final. Our U.S. Cellular postgame show starts in a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Murfield. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And buy. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, nice. which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeyes fall to second rank Purdue here in Carver this afternoon. Uh, not without great effort, though. Uh, Purdue took Iowa's best shot. And won at 84-70. The Hawks were within eight, 78-70. A little more than three minutes to go in the game and had two really good looks uh, off back-to-back -back possessions. One by Dix, the other by Peyton Sanford. And neither would fall, and Purdue came down and 
worked it around. Lance Jones stroked a three, the ninth of the game for Purdue, and put them back up 11, and the Hawks just ran out of gas and lose it. 84-70, welcome to our U.S. Cellular postgame show. Sponsored by our friends at U.S. Cellular. As a proud sponsor of the Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Bobby Hansen, uh, uh, the rebounding numbers incredibly lopsided in uh, Purdue's favor. Uh, 50 boards to 24, uh, 2 to 1. And yet Iowa was right there, down eight with uh, a little more than three three to play. They were right there, no doubt, Gary. You need more threes uh, to drop, and, and uh, kids fought hard. You need Owen Freeman on the floor more. You got to remember he had foul trouble right from that first one. It seemed like he was saddled with, with that. But, uh, you know, he just couldn't get the running game going, really. Um, couldn't get the stops when you needed them. Uh, good guard play out of Purdue, Tony Freeman. For the Hawkeyes was was really good. He's our star of the game. He just was grinding out there, um, but just got to find a way to score when you have that little drought right in there at the halfway point of the first half. Just couldn't uh, couldn't get it going. Outscored 14-0. And yeah, the Hawks were uh, up 18-14 at the 12:32 mark of the first half before the Boilermakers went on a 14-0 run. It would become a 19-2 blitz. Uh, with Zach Eady right in the middle of it, and they build a 33-20 lead. Purdue did with seven minutes uh, left in the first half. And when you're when you're forced to play from uh, double-digit deficits against the number two team in the country, uh, even if you're at home, uh, it's 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 a tough sled. Yeah, good point. You almost have to play perfect at that point, Gary. You can't turn it over. You got to make all your free throws. You got to make you know the high majority of a high percentage of your shots, and you got to stop them. And during that stretch where where it did balloon 19 to two, you had three pointers by Gillis Jones and and Jones again. So it was uh, three point shooting that that got that uh, Purdue team going there in the first half. Yeah, we'll check out all the numbers on the high V stat recap in just a minute. So the Hawks. Uh, give a great effort, but fall short to uh, Purdue, 84-70, and try and start an, a new winning streak Wednesday night when the Maryland Terrapins come calling here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Senior Tony Perkins recorded his fourth 20-point game of the season, finishing with 24 points on 10 of 19 shooting. Tony is our Old Dominion best in the game. We'll visit with Tony shortly. Bobby will head off to the locker room and do his... Uh, sit down with uh, coach McCaffrey and uh, talk about uh, this effort that uh, fell short to the Boilermakers 81 or 84 to 70. Our postgame coverage is sponsored by U.S. Cellular. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details.
Back at Carver Hawkeye Arena, this is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Iowa loses to second ranked Purdue 84 to 70. The Hawks trailed 47 34 at halftime, cut the deficit to eight with under five minutes to play, and then had three possessions to uh, cut further into that uh, eight point uh, uh, deficit, but uh, shots just would not fall. It was a very tired Iowa team. Both teams were literally gassed. They gave great effort today, and Purdue wins at 84 70. Uh, the Boilermakers win their 17th game of the year against just two defeats. The Hawks drop to 11 and 7, 3 and 4 in the Big Ten. Purdue is now 6 and 2 in conference play. Iowa, just Iowa's second loss in Carver Hawkeye Arena this season. Uh, the other loss coming to uh, uh, Michigan. The Hawks are 8 and 2 at home and try and uh, get back on the winning side of things when they host the uh, Maryland Terrapins. 6 o'clock tip off Wednesday night here on the Hawkeye. Radio Network. All right, let's start our post-game stat recap, courtesy of uh, High V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free High V Perks membership. High V for the game. Purdue the winner, 84-70. Boilermakers shoot 45 percent, hitting on 30 of 67 shots. Nine of those 30 makes uh, were from three. Nine of 26, and 15 of 21 from the foul line. And the big number, Purdue, 50 rebounds to 24 for the Hawkeyes and 19 offensive. Of course, uh, eight of those belong to the, the All-American center, 7-3, Zach Eady, who led the way with 30 points and 18 rebounds, including eight offensive. Zach Eady was the uh, difference maker of the story again today. 17 for Lance Jones, the uh, transfer portal pickup from Southern Illinois. Uh, a dozen for Fletcher Lawyer. He had a couple threes among his five field goals. Uh, and that was it for Purdue's double-figure scorers. But when you have a Zach Eady, you can cover up for a lot of other teammates. Uh, six points on the day for Mason Gillis. Nobody else with more than four. Purdue uh, shoots 45% for the Hawkeyes, 45.5% for the game on 27 of 59 from the field. Uh, the Hawks just 5 of 17 from distance and 11 of 16 from the foul line. Iowa led in scoring by Tony Perkins, our Old Dominion best in the game, with 24 points, 10 of 19 shooting for Tony. Uh, he had uh, five rebounds and four assists, no turnovers for uh, TP. He will join us shortly. Peyton Sanford had 16, Ben Cricky with 10, nine for Josh Dix. Josh had a, a good second half after Purdue really buttoned him up in the first half. He obviously was a focal point. Six for Owen Freeman, who played just 20 minutes. Uh, again, uh, plagued uh, with foul issues, and who can blame him uh, trying to guard Zach Eady? Turnovers, uh, Purdue turned it over 11 times, just seven uh, miscues for the Hawkeyes. Purdue with all that rebounding, second chance opportunities, uh, led the way in uh, paint scores as well. And that brings us to our Spawn and Rose Points in the paint. Why wait to repaint your home to freshen it to sell? Take a quick trip to your local Spot and Rose. Pick up some new colors from the Valspar paint rack and start painting so you can enjoy it now. For interior makeovers, only Valspar medallion paint and primer has color finity for one coat color that lasts and lasts. For exteriors, it provides fade resistant color coverage and true weather tight toughness start here and finish with perfection at your local spot and rose spot and rose in the end uh, the hawkeyes evened up the paint scores purdue uh, had a lopsided advantage in uh, points in the paint at halftime but the hawks caught him in the second half in the end points in the paint purdue 36 iowa 34 and that is our points in the paint courtesy of spawn and rose now let's make our first trip inside the hawkeye locker room and visit with our old dominion best in the game uh, guard tony perkins who logged 36 and a half minutes today uh, tony will sleep well tonight 24 points on 10 of 9 shooting and four of six from the free throw line add in five rebounds four assists he is our old dominion best in the game and uh, Tony, it was it was tough duty going up against that team, particularly when you're looking at that that wall in the middle and Zach Eady. But uh, the Hawks certainly couldn't complain about your effort today, right? Yeah, yeah. I wish it was a team effort, though. Um, play hard. Um, you know, sometimes some of the game we didn't play as hard as we should have. But I mean, it was stretching the game. We played hard, but we 
let loose and then let them get comfortable with shots. And then that was really the, the game right there. What was the story? Uh, the Hawks were up 18-14 uh, there with 12 and a half minutes to go in the first half. They they went off on a 14-0 run. It became 19-2. to But what were they doing? Were they doing anything particular that was so effective? Uh, not really. Um, just throwing the big guy. Um, Closing, it, closing out short on shooters and then just offensive rebounding, really, that's the only thing that really killed this. Uh, it was missing shots. It was giving them missed shots. It just came down to uh, uh, rebounding and uh, rotating out the trap and letting them get uh, comfortable shots. Zach Eady, he, he will misdirect some shots, won't he? Yeah, you know. I, mean, I ain't gonna say that. I can't really say that. I won't, but you know, <laughs> he's uh, well. You know, you're you're an Indiana guy. Uh, you you obviously were fired up for a lot of reasons, but uh, playing a team from your home state, uh, I could see that fire coming out of your nostrils, and you responded. But uh, uh, you, you were an awful tired competitor by the end. Yeah, um, I tried to. Do, we all tried as hard as we could. Uh, we just felt like we were, uh, you know, we was getting a lot of things that they were getting with the whistle so I mean. yeah and 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 once again the the early foul issues with peyton and uh, yeah. and owen and, and ben, uh, that didn't help mm -hmm. you did it no nope, not at all well uh, you know we were talking about the luca garza comparison now that mm -hmm. they're, they're different by position but uh, you know uh, everybody's aware who's on the floor mm -hmm. uh, whether it's luca garza or zach Eady and People are paying their money to see him. He did. He did play well with three fouls, though. But the, you're right. The offensive rebound, the multiple uh, chances for shots on possessions, uh, uh, and you know, you guys. We talked about that ad nauseum in the pregame show. That you knew you would have to address that, and you just give Purdue credit and you move on. Yeah. Yeah. I give well, credit to him for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you, it was a great effort by you. Uh, uh, and they, they clearly marked Josh Dixon that first half. Josh couldn't free up for anything, could he? Mm -mm, but, you know, Josh is a great player. He kept attacking, kept playing his game. Tony, thanks for your time, bud. Appreciate it. Uh, Maryland coming up on Wednesday. That'll be another tough battle. Yes, sir. Take care. You too. Thank you. Tony Perkins, 36 and a half minutes against a team like Purdue. It's amazing he was even standing at the end of the game, but what a great effort. 24 points. He's our Old Dominion best in the game. 24 points. Five rebounds, four assists, one block shot, one steal, no turnovers. Think about that. And that defensive pressure uh, exhibited by Foster Lawyer and uh, Braden Smith and Lance Jones and Mason Gillis, they just keep running really tough players, good bodies, fresh bodies. At you. And Tony withstood it. The Hawks lose it, though, 84-70. to 70. More U.S. Cellular postgame show is coming up. Bobby Hansen will talk with Fran McCaffrey. We'll hear from Matt Painter also uh, straight ahead on the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. 
Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Purdue outscores the Hawkeyes 18 to 6 in second chance points. So many numbers that keep coming back to uh, the rebounding in Purdue's 84 70 win. And when you get doubled up in the boards, 50 to 24, and it's not for lack of effort by the Hawkeyes, certainly. It's call it lack of size, but that's the storyline today. The Hawks knew that going in, it would be a, an issue, a factor. Uh, and uh, Zach Eady, and, uh, and there's, there's a reason they're ranked number two in the country and could very well win it all uh, with that team. But uh, uh, they'll have an off night here and there like they did against Nebraska a couple weeks ago when the Oscars cashed in 14 three-point goals for today. The Hawks were just 5 of 17 from a three. Three uh, lead changes, two ties all early. Purdue uh, led the game for 31 of the uh, 40 minutes and win it 84-70 after they built the lead to 13 at the break, 47-34. to Let's uh, give you our heating up the nets, courtesy of Lennox, our hot Hawkeye on the day, and we go right back to our Old Dominion best in the game. That is Tony Perkins. Tony with uh, 24 total points, 10 of 19 from the field. Uh, 0 for 4 from 3, but made 4 of 6 free throws. TP with 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Amazingly, for 36 and a half minutes, and all the ball handling he did to not turn it over uh, is, is incredible, given how Purdue plays defense. But Tony Perkins uh, was a star uh, today, and he's our heating up the nets. Lennox, hot hockey. Uh, for your uh, services, uh, particularly in this weather, you want to give our friends at Affordable Heating a call in Cedar Rapids, Vicks Heating, Plumbing, and Vent out in Decorah. In Fort Dodge, it's North Central Iowa Services. In Omaha, Extreme Heating and Cooling. And Langles Plumbing and Heating in Sioux Center. They're ready, willing, and waiting to drive into your driveway and uh, uh, take a look at that uh, heating plant if uh, hopefully uh, it's working uh, sound. But uh, make sure you have Lennox come out each fall and uh, give it a once-over, not only uh, with your heating plant but in the spring before the air conditioning season hits. Uh, right now we're talking heat and heating up the nets. Uh, congratulations to Tony Perkins. We'll take a break, come back. Uh, we'll hear from Fran McCaffrey and from uh, Coach Matt Painter, the Purdue Boilermakers. That's straight ahead here on our postgame show, courtesy of U.S. Cellular. Purdue wins at 84-70 over the Hawkeyes. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. 
Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Purdue defeats the Iowa Hawkeyes uh, 84 to 70 here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Time to hear from the head hawk, Fran McCaffrey. He's uh, in the Iowa locker room with uh, our Bobby Hansen talking about today's game, courtesy of your Iowa John Deere dealers, including KC Nielsen in West Bend. Uh, a lot of areas you can start. Uh, uh, Bobby uh, and Coach talked about this great atmosphere uh, that the fans brought. Coach, great crowd here today. You guys came out and battled right from the get-go. Um, your overall thoughts on the game? Well, I thought there were a lot of interesting things that happened in the game. I'll just leave it at that. And uh, in particular, Owen Freeman did, did, couldn't really get off the mark, and, and he, he had some foul trouble in there, but it was a frustrating afternoon for, for the big guys. Wasn't his fault. And uh, how about Tony Perkins, his effort, Coach? And, and he just was relentless uh, get, trying to get downhill and get the Hawks back in the game. He, he was terrific in that regard, Bobby. Uh, getting downhill, attacking, active on defense. Uh, the only thing I regret is I really didn't give those guys much of a rest in the second half. They were kind of cooking pretty good, so I left them out there. But I think they ran out of gas. That's on me. And Coach Josh Dix uh, had a rough start there in the first half, but he got going in the second half and, and uh, got some baskets for you. Yeah, he got more aggressive. We need him to be more aggressive. Uh, and, you know, that's what we talk to him about all the time. And obviously, it makes a difference in our team, Bobby. And uh, Laji Dembele, he was in there battling the big guy. Any update on, on his injury? Bad sprain of his ankle. That's the good news. You know, it's not broken. Uh, at least it, I don't think it's broken. I was told, it, you know, it's just a sprain. So hopefully it's one that doesn't linger too long because he was really good today. And coach, at seven foot four, three hundred pounds, it's almost an immovable object in there. How are you supposed to defend a guy like that? Well, it's, he's not an immovable object because he moves a lot and he moves in a way that uh, I'm clearly seeing a different game. All right, and, and uh, at the end here. Um... Wednesday, we'll regroup. We've got Maryland coming in here. Quick thought on Maryland. I've been impressed with them, what I've seen on film, Bobby. They play hard. You know, Kevin Willard's teams are always going to do that. Uh, getting great point guard play. they got some veteran guys, you know, with Reese and Scott. And we've got our hands full. Okay, Coach, thanks for your time. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Coach, Coach McCaffrey, you got a feel for Bobby sitting in that chair. I mean... <laughs> Uh, he was seeing a different game with uh, Zach Eady's uh, movement. Uh, Bobby should get overtime, double pay for uh, And coach is coach. I mean, he's frustrated, he's upset, and has everything to do with Zach Eady. Uh, obviously, he felt he was getting away with uh, <laughs> some movement there. But uh, good job, Bobby Hansen in the uh, Hawkeye locker room. Uh, that's combat pay for uh, Bobby Hansen today. And uh, coach is coach, and uh, you have to appreciate his candor and, and his honesty and how he feels after the game. But he knows just what to say without taking that extra step. Uh, Bobby Hansen's visit with uh, Coach McCaffrey, sponsored by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including K.C. Nielsen in West Bend. Your premier John Deere dealer serving northern Iowa and southern Minnesota. They offer parts, sales, and service on all John Deere equipment. K.C. Nielsen, family-owned <laughs> and operated since... <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel bad for Bobby. Family owned and operated since 1946, K.C. Nielsen. Learn more at kcnielsen.com. We'll hear from Matt Painter next on our U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat. Nice. Which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. 
If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Buckeyes defeat, uh, or defeated by Purdue, 84-70. Iowa with the ball on three separate possessions down 78-70 with uh, three, three and a half minutes to go. But you could see the Hawks were, were running on empty at that point and uh, just ran out of gas. Great effort, but uh, nonetheless, their seventh loss of the season against 11 victories. Uh, Coach uh, Matt Painter was very respectful of, uh, of the Hawks and uh, Love the way uh, his his guys fought as well after the game. You know, trying to settle in and you know take care of the basketball. I thought we had a couple unforced errors, um, just giving ourselves a chance. You know, in terms of playing through the post, playing through ball screens, and just kind of taking what Iowa gives us, and uh, not trying to have predetermined thoughts. And at times we, you know, get a little carried away with it. And um, you know, if we can get the basketball inside, then great. If we can't and they try to take that away, then really look for those shooters coming off pin downs and uh, just getting shots and then trying to live on the glass. You know, we have a great rebounding team, and tonight, you know, our ability to to rebound the ball was probably the difference in the game. You know, out rebound by 26 and getting 19 offensive rebounds was pretty impressive. Coach, um, it looked like Iowa had a potential to get back in it. Mm -hmm. I think it was like five minutes left. Right. Uh, you held them scoreless from the field over that final 444. What was working for you guys? Yeah, I, I thought it was. I thought both teams got pretty fatigued there. To be honest with you, you know, I, I thought we had some good looks. You know, Sanford got away from us a couple of times, and we we're very fortunate that he just missed some of those threes. Like he got that one flare wide open. Um, then he got a couple more right after that, and you thought, you know, and you've seen how like he single-handedly in those situations can get it rolling and make it really difficult. But. Um, that's what I looked at. I thought Zach was pretty gassed. I thought Braden was pretty gassed. And then I, just some of the looks on the, the Iowa guys' face, you know, I, I thought everybody played really hard and uh, just got really fatigued. And sometimes late in games that happens, and you see some shots get short and not go in. That's just that stretch in the first half. Um, you and Zach had a mm -hmm. Cam gets a put back. Caleb gets a put back. You get basically four straight points from Ethan. Just the job you're benched in. Yeah. It's kind of weathering that. Yeah, good. yeah. Yeah, just being active. Like, you know, obviously we prefer Zach to be in the game. Um, but, you know, how are we going to play when he gets in foul trouble or how are we going to play when we're trying to give him, a, you know, a breather right there? And I thought those guys were very active. Um, you know, sometimes when you get into rotations, and I know he's not in during that thing, when you get into rotations and you, you're doubling and doing some different things, now you don't have great, you know, block out responsibility. And that's the downside of it because we'll, we scheme at times and that really – affects us but he normally saves the day for us because he kind of which i call satellite defense you know if you can get him on somebody that he doesn't have to cover on the perimeter he can just stay in there um but i thought caleb and, and cam and ethan right there in that stretch you know really helped us and i think mason just in general when he subs in his ability to stretch the defense as that other big really helps. Now you've coached a lot of really good big men. You've played against a lot of really good bigs. I mean, Owen Freeman, there's a lot of excitement in Iowa City about him. I know he had a little bit of foul trouble tonight, right. but I was just curious what your kind of scouting report and your early perception of him is. Yeah, you know, for us, we, we you know, went back and forth about 
you know, who should guard who, like, you know, Owen Freeman and Cricky, because Cricky can stretch you out a little bit more right now. And then, like, we don't like to get Zebo away from the basket. So we, we put Zach on him, but it's, you know, not fair because he gets into foul trouble. But, you know, he's got a combination of size and athleticism. He can move. And so, like, sometimes the guys that can move don't have the strength. He has both. And now he's got a build to where, you know, now he can drive that ball from the high post. He can shoot from the perimeter because he's got the other stuff. He's got the intangibles. Um, his competitive spirit's high. And that's sometimes what you don't see with bigs, right? You, you know, you wonder about their motor and getting going. He's got a really good motor, and, uh, and he's in a great place. If you look at the bigs and the combo forwards that Franz had, you know, he, he's really utilized them and got the most out of them, you know, offensively. Just with now, he's got to just he's got to add a piece to his game because I mean, look how many times he's been freshman of the week. Like, look how productive he's been. He's been a very productive player. Now he needs to make that jump and be an all-conference type guy, and he has the ability to do so. You've seen, you saw Iowa earlier in the year, and yes. you've seen now. Um, you know, has there been much growth, and, yeah. and, and what ways? Yeah, without question. You know, they've won six out of seven, three games in a row um, coming in here. We, you know, we have the distinct ability to be able to have somebody in the game that they can't have in their practice, and it's just hard, right? And it, it's just different. So, like, when you don't do that and they spread you out, you know, and they attack you, it's hard. I told our team, I said, you're not seeing the same Iowa team that we saw earlier in the year. And that's a human nature thing, right? Because we had a pretty substantial, um, you know, victory in that game. So like human nature, like guys are like, okay, this will be all right. I'm like, it's not the same team. You know, all those guys have made progress. They didn't have Patrick today. And I think the place, you know, Patrick helps them in that press. Patrick gets on that point of that press and causes havoc. And now he has an interchangeable piece. He's got length. He's got athleticism. Um, but no, I, I just think that Owen Freeman making the jump, um, Dick's being more of like a main guy to go along with Sanford. Perk didn't have a good game against us at our place, and he was fabulous tonight. And I told those guys that. I said, hey, man, that, the kid's got a lot of pride. He's a good player. You know, he torched us in that Big Ten tournament championship. That was, that was nice of Iowa to put that up there. About them beating us in the tournament championship. Uh. <laughs> Matt Painter, who was a really good friend of Chris Streets. Uh, yeah, it's always emotional when Matt comes in here anywhere near uh, the anniversary of uh, Chris Streets' death. But uh, uh, he's right. Uh, the Hawks did miss Patrick McCaffrey at the point of that press, and they missed his size in general. Not that Zach Eady would have done any less than he did, but he is a, a special player. And, uh, that 19 to two run midway through the first half when the Hawks had a four point lead, uh, really a difference maker. Uh, Purdue led by 13 at the break and win it by 14, 84, 70. Thanks to coach Painter uh, for his comments on uh, his team's victory today over the Hawkeyes. And we'll come back and wind down our U S cellular post game show next. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game, family, friends, we know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line 
the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Eighty-four seventy, the final. Purdue with uh, an eighteen to six advantage and second chance points. We keep coming back to the rebounding uh, discrepancy, and it was uh, cavernous today. Uh, Purdue uh, out doubling uh, the Hawks on the boards, fifty to twenty-four, and that can happen when you got guys like uh, Zach Eady, pr- most uh, notably, but uh, they've got other big guys. Uh, Caleb first at six ten. They can run a lot of, you know, Ren is six nine. They can run a lot of guys at you. And when the Hawks lost uh, Lodgy Dembele to that uh, ankle sprain, hopefully it, it doesn't have Lodgy out a whole uh, amount of time. But uh, he's in there battling uh, for Owen Freeman, who was in foul trouble. Uh, the Hawks uh, were playing with one hand behind their back, uh, going up against that 7 4, 300 pound giant and Zach Eady. But they gave great effort. Let's uh, relive some of the moments. Uh, Iowa had a hot start behind Peyton Sanford. Here's a lob into Owen. He's double teamed, including Edie. I right puts out. the ball on the floor. Peyton for three from the wing. Good. Peyton Sanford. Just what uh, Matt Painter talked about. Yeah, Peyton with 16 points on the day. Uh, Purdue did, I thought, a pretty good job guarding him uh, 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 over 40 minutes. Peyton just 5 of 12 from the field, 3 of 10 from distance. But he gave Iowa the early lead there. And Tony Perkins. Uh, I don't know what we can add. Uh, Tony was he was the the stud. He was the horse on the floor for the Hawkeyes today. And Purdue has its first lead at six five on the three by Fletcher Lawyer. Dix hits a cunning Tony Perkins score and a foul called on Purdue. Yeah, when Tony's driving uh, for layups and uh, scores, uh, um, taking on uh, double teams, uh, he's at his level best. He, we know he can shoot, but. When he gets going in the paint to the rim, uh, he's a, a treasure to watch, and uh, and he's also pretty good defensively. Purdue basketball off the foul on Josh Dix. Who subs in the game here. Ethan Morton comes in. Morton, a 6'7", senior from Butler, Pennsylvania. Tony Perkins steals an angled pass and runs out for a dunk. Mason Gillis turned it over for the Boilermakers. That put Iowa up four, five minutes into the game. Uh, Purdue then went on a 19-2 to blitz, 14 to nothing at one point, and that wiped out quickly an Iowa four-point lead. Uh, Iowa led 18-14 on a Peyton Sanford jump shot, and then Purdue went off on, the, on that uh, incredible run, 14-2 to and then 19-2, to uh, as Zach Eady was right in the middle of everything again today, and Purdue went up by 14 before the Hawks closed with a 7-0 run. Uh, to um, uh, almost end the first half, led by Peyton Sanford's three. Jones forces up a long three, no good. Off the right of the iron, rebounded by Perkins. Fox with a rebound. Perkins with a run out. In transition, Peyton for three, good. 38-29, Hawks get it back under 10. But Iowa would trail at the half, 47-34. And then a hot start to the second half with Tony Perkins right in the middle. He scored on his first three possessions of that second period, including these back-to-back. Team 32 to play in the game. Perkins pop-up jumper in the lane. Good. That's the way to stick it to him. Here's Perkins. A screen from Dembele gets inside high off the glass. And good. Went right at the big guy, Zach Eady. And Tony... That thing almost went over the square. He threw it up there so high. And the Hawks were back to within 10 at 52-42, three minutes deep in the second half, considering Purdue had opened up another uh, 14-point lead. Uh, The Hawks uh, kept battling back and battling back. Uh, Josh Dix finally got it going in the second half. Freeman back in the game. Here's Dix for three. Finally hits one. Josh Dix. Maybe that fires him off. 64-48 Purdue. Nine points on the day for Josh Dix. It did uh, fire up the Hawks. They went on a 7-0 run. Peyton Sanford got hot for the moment. Perkins from Peyton Sanford. Perkins all the way in to Sanford on the wing. His three is good. Back-to-back threes. Purdue lead is 13. And uh, on the next possession, the Hawks get another stop. And Ben Cricky cut the Purdue lead back to 11 with 11 and a half to play. Goes inside, throws to Cricky, 17 fade away, jump shot good. Then Matt Painter may want to get a timeout here, 64-53. 
Hawks uh, would get to uh, within eight, 78-70, with four minutes, 22 seconds to play. Josh Dix hit a pair of free throws, and the Hawks were down eight. They finally got it back under 10, and then had not one, not two, but three possessions to cut the lead to six or five with the three and uh, missed all three attempts. And uh, by then you could see the uh, the fatigue that Matt Painter referred to. Both teams playing with plenty of fatigue. They left it out there. Wildly entertaining game uh, for the uh, uh, large crowd that uh, was better than 12, 13,000 today that witnessed uh, the second-ranked Boilermakers defeating the Hawkeyes 84 to 70. Uh, actually, they have the attendance now We're updated here, 14,232, 14232. Thank you, Hawk fans. Let's conclude our coverage today with the U.S. Uh, Bank scoreboard. Other finals in the Big Ten, Ohio State beat Penn State uh, 79-67. The Buckeyes win in Columbus. Nebraska holds off Northwestern out in Lincoln. 75-69, the Huskers defeat the Wildcats. Uh, Iowa, of course, loses here 84-70 in Iowa City to uh, Purdue. The Iowa State Cyclones went on the road, got a big win at TCU, 73-72. The 24th-ranked Cyclones ambushed the number 19 TCU uh, frog, 73-72. Tonight, it's uh, or later this afternoon, Drake hosts Evansville at 5 o'clock. Then tonight, it's Southern Illinois uh, taking on Ben Jacobson and Northern Iowa up at the McLeod Center. Finals from around the country. Ninth-ranked Baylor went down at Texas, 75-73. 17th-ranked Marquette over St. John's, 73-72. In triple overtime, uh, Creighton, 97. Seton Hall, 94. 21st-ranked Dayton beat Rhode Island. 15th-ranked Oklahoma won by four at Cincinnati. 5th-ranked Houston out defense to Central Florida, 57-42. Number 6, Tennessee, a big winner over Alabama, 91-71. And the other final we have right now is North Carolina defeats Boston College, 76-66. At the half, Kansas leads West Virginia by two. UCLA uh, is on top of 12th-ranked Arizona uh, by a dozen with 240 to play in the first half. And 16th-ranked Utah State leads Fresno State by 13 at the break. NFL divisional playoffs. They're underway in Baltimore. The Ravens have a 3 nothing lead on uh, the Houston Texans midway through the first half or first quarter. And later tonight, uh, Green Bay, the Packers, uh, play uh, George Kittle and uh, the 49ers out in the Bay Area. That's our U.S. Bank scoreboard. That concludes our coverage of Iowa and Purdue from Iowa City today. Sorry we didn't have better news for you, Hawk fans. Uh, wildly entertaining game to watch, but the Hawks go down to the second-ranked Boilermakers, 84-70. to We're on the air at 5 o'clock Wednesday. Uh, for Iowa, Maryland. Hawk Talk with Coach McCaffrey comes up Monday night from the Hyatt Regency in the Iowa River Landing. Please do come out and say hi. Final score again today, 84-70. Purdue gets to 17-2 and on the year. 6-2 and in the Big Ten. The Hawks drop to 11-7 and and 3-4 uh, and four in conference play. Thanks to Bobby Hansen. Thanks to our engineer producer, Corey Sheets. I'm Gary Dolphin. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the new hy V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare. Committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.